That's lucky. Like finding a four-leaf clover. <laughs> Although I think I prefer the clover. Oh, look, little sparrow. Castle Fairfax looks so nice in the snow. Imagine the grand dining hall. I bet Lord Luthien's having roast duck this time of year. But he must be really lonely since his wife and his little girl died. In that big castle, all by himself. If only we could live there. What is going on over there? Come with me, little brother. Hello there, young Rose. You look hungry. Have you reconsidered my offer? We'll never be that hungry. The answer is no. You'll be back, and I'll be waiting for you. Come on, little sparrow. Let's see what's going on. That filthy creep. I hate him. Come one, come on. Oh, it's just a trader. I can't see anything past this lot. Down in front. A ladies and a gentleman. I have travelled the land, accumulating wondrous and mysterious objects, which I now offer to you for the modest price of five gold. You're standing on my turn. Consider this. This is truly a magical mirror. For as long as you look into it, it will make you beautiful. I'll take it. Very wise. Now, just remember, the magic only works if you look at it in complete darkness. Ah, now this is truly a marvel. This small, unassuming box is actually a device created by the ancients, as used by the old kingdom rulers themselves. <laughs> Turn the handle three times, and you shall be granted a single wish. There's no such thing as magic. No pushing. You can stand at the back. We live in grim times indeed, if the young are too world-weary to believe in magic. Most children your age believe eagerly. Look, I can see your eyes are bad, but I'm telling you, that music box is rubbish. That's what the seller thinks. He has no idea what he stumbled upon, but you have an inkling, don't you? Some part of you wants to believe it's magic. What? You... you really think it could be? For five gold coins, you could have your answer. For five gold coins, we could eat for a week. Listen to me, Rose. At the end of that week, you and your little sparrow would be no closer to your dream. No closer to the inside of that beautiful castle. What if it is real? I bet we could get five gold pieces, and maybe this could be a way out of here after all. What is there to lose, little sparrow? Come on, there must be someone around here who'll pay us gold to... do something. Belinda! Poor, oh, I'm getting too old for this racket. Oi, kids, come here a minute. 
Hello, Derek. Lose something? My arrest warrants blew right out of my hands. They could be in all corners of Bowerstone by now, and I can't leave my post. Hey, why don't you find them for me? You could be like uh, little constables. Sounds fun, right? How much do little constables get paid? Paid? Listen, kids, these are the five most wanted criminals in Bowerstone. Yeah? Well, how badly do you want them? Fine. <clears throat> One gold for all five warrants. Deal. The warrants blew off in so, that direction. So, we look out for those warrants. Through the alley, but by for that now, bloke with the picture box. let's find some more money. <laughs> Pull the other one. Hello, children. Hello. What's that? This? Why, it's only the most amazing device ever conceived. It grabs your very likeness and transfiddles it onto a magic piece of paper. It's going to make me very rich. If only I could find someone to modelify for it. We'll do it for a gold piece. Hmm. I only have one gold left. But you're right. I should investalize it in my new venture. Uh, deal. A gold piece just to stand there. Sounds all right, doesn't it? Not for you. A picture of two cute kids like you, bound to soften a few hearts. What do you say? Now, all you have to do is strike a pose for my little device. You'll be positively betwazzled by the results. Be what? Ah, yes, I've been improving my vocabularium with a wonderful book bought from Mergo the Trader. A thesaurus. He's a bit silly, isn't he? But this could be fun. He takes us for fools. Uh, any time you're ready, children. Wondrous! This thing's going to be more popular than that pox! Now, I just have to wait three months for the picture to developify, and I can start showing it around! Oh, I can almost smell the gold! <laughs> three months, he says! Told you it was a swindle! Easy money for us. He's a bit scary. Hope he's all right. We got our first gold coin, though. This must be the alley the warrants blew down. We should take a look. You like that, you stupid mutt? Hey, what the hell are you doing? Having a bit of fun. What's it to you? Oh! He hit a girl! Yeah, and now I'm gonna hit another one! Knock those teeth out! Knock those teeth out! Go on! Keep smacking! Ah! Oh, stop it! Let me alone, you nutter! You like Ow! Or Did you see that? That lunatic sucked me right in the head. Glad you beat that Rex. He deserved it. Thanks for your help. I could have taken him though. <laughs> oh, poor thing. You've had a horrible time. Glad you beat that Rex. Don't be scared. I won't hurt you. What you need is someone nice to look after you. Oh, we can't keep you. We don't have enough food for ourselves. Well, I'm sorry, but we can't. Now you just rest. I don't like this at all. Eh? <laughs> Come on, little sparrow. Let's go. Gah, gah, gah. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's one there. Well, we have our first warrant. Yes, another warrant. What will hmm. I do? I don't think they'll miss this Leroy if they see him. to do like sleeping can I be your friend with something? Uh, sort of, yes. You kids aren't afraid of uh, beetles, are you? No, that would be silly. Yes, silly. <laughs> no one's afraid of loathsome, evil, conniving beetles. Well, uh, since you're not afraid, uh, how would you like to ruthlessly exterminate a few that are in my warehouse? We'll do it for a gold piece. Done. Ooh, I hope you can make them suffer. If those idiots and vermin never can suffer. Shoot the beetles. Shoot to kill. And while you're breaking their hateful little heads open, try not to break any of my stuff. Kid, Balthazar owes some protection money to Nicky the nickname. So how about you leave the Beatles and smash his stock up instead? I'll give you a gold on Mr. the nickname's behalf. Oh, crap. Do you know what I had to do to get those beetles? I'll remember this, kid. That was a massacre. No mercy for the filthy buggers. That's what I like to see. And all my stock is still intact. Genius. Now I think about it, I wonder how those beetles got in there. Wow! I didn't know you were so good at fighting. And we've got another gold coin. We're really doing it. I can do what I want with it. But you don't There's that dog again. 
Have some food for a change. Hey, you found one for us. Good boy. Oh, I know. You're sweet. I need but I told you before, we can't keep you. No, you don't. Come on, little sparrow. You're right, Betty. You're always right. I need two drinks. Looks like a warrant, doesn't it? Only one more warrant left to find. I'm worthless. Keep your eyes open. That's the bottle talking. Well then, get it back for me so I can tell it to shut up. Hey, look at that, Betty. Two sets of twins. Oh, you'll get my booze back, won't you? You can barely stand as it is. But they can. Bet they can walk straight even. Get my booze back from that git magpie, and I'll give you a gold piece for it. He's not even a proper beggar. Has piles of stuff, and it's all stolen from bodified tramps like my good self. Let it go, Pete. Save your money for important things. It is his money. Can't he decide how to spend it? She's making all kinds of sense. Well, let's talk about my money. You find that bottle, and I'll pay you to keep it out of his hands. Come on, help an old man out. So you'll bring me back my bottle? Yes! Ugh, no. You'll find it and bring it to me, won't you, children? Let's find this magpie guy. That must be magpie. And there's the bottle. Get it, little sparrow. But don't wake him up. Ah, stupid Pete. You snooze, I take your booze. <sighs> Let's go collect our gold from the lady and the tramp. Would you say slowly? Would you let me quickly kill myself? The quadruplets are back. You've got booze. I can smell it. Are you sure it's not your breath? I'll give you a gold piece for it. Sounds good to me. No, don't fall off the wagon. Wagon? Where? Kids, look out for the wagon. Does he sound like he needs that? Here, I'll give you a gold piece for it. Give me the wine. No, don't. Give it to me. Hold it. There's some paper in the bottle. I think this is yours. I used to be an accountant. Don't drink, it'll ruin your life. Well done. You probably saved his life. I guess I do. And that's three gold coins now. Just two more and we can buy the music box. That's all the warrants. 
We should go back to that guard. Right there, you little brats. Listen, creep. I told you no this morning. Shut it, girl. This isn't about that. Those warrants you're collecting, I want them. So does our friend the guard. Yeah, but you're going to give them to me, see? Otherwise, there'll be trouble. There'll be trouble, all right. You take these, and I'll tell our friend what you really want. All right, you little hard case. What's he paying you? A gold piece? I'll give you a gold right here. Save you to walk back. Let's go play some jokes or somewhere later. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? What's it going to be, then? The warrants are around here somewhere. Have you found them? Thanks. You're a lifesaver. Now, normally, justice is its own reward. But as these aren't normal circumstances, there's your gold piece. That's to sort out this town? Career's made now. It's an honor to be Four gold coins. We just need one more. Shh. I think Mother heard us. You again? I don't want you sniffing around my daughter. Now push off before I call the guards, you... Animal! Get in the house, Belinda. And clean those floors. They're as filthy as that no-good delinquent Monty. What's the matter with you? Oh, little ones, my situation is unbearable. Words can't even begin to describe it. Looks to me like you fancy the girl who lives there, but her mum thinks you're rubbish, so she's locked her away. Uh, I suppose that's the gist of it. Why'd you ask me then? Maybe we could help you. Yes! You could take my proposal letter to the fair maiden. Oh, there is hope. My heart soars in my chest like... like... We'll do it for a gold piece. Ah, oh, I'm a bit strapped right at the moment. But Belinda's good for it. I'm sure she'll pay you when she receives my letter. Get that letter straight to Belinda. Don't let her mum get it. <laughs> this letter's awful. Listen to this. Darling, <laughs> run away with me. Like two doves, we shall rise on love's gentle breeze to soar above the world in our bliss, <laughs> forever embracing in the clouds yeah. What? I said, oh, It's a bit over the top, isn't it? Knock on the door and let's see who answers. What do you want? Oh, um, we, we've got a letter. We need one gold for the postage. Oh, well, why didn't you just say so? Come on in.
Wait there while I get the money. And don't you touch anything. Oh, Monty told us not to give it to the mother, but she'll pay us if we just wait it's here. Money gone. But then, if we give it to Belinda upstairs, maybe they can run away together. I know I left it here somewhere. That must be Belinda. So no one can find them and then you can't find them. Well, this is wonderful. Here's something for your trouble. Oh, Monty, my little dove. I guess some people's wishes do come true. We did it. We can buy the music box now. I'm leaving, Mother. I'm Come going on, to marry the man I love. Come on, let's go buy that music box. I can't wait to see what it can do. Oh, Monty, I love you. No, you don't. He's poor. Oh, Mother, you're such a shrew. That's why Father left you, and you can't get another man. Belinda, you shouldn't talk to your mum like that. Oh, now you're taking her side. What? No. Well, maybe you should marry her instead. But you're my one true love. Without you, there are no stars and no moon in my night sky. Only the cold, crushing dark of your absence, um, my little dove. Poor, oh, I'm getting too old for this racket. Hello, children! Hello, we've come to buy the music box. Very wise little ones. Go ahead and turn the handle, but mind you go somewhere quiet like. Let's go make our wish, little sparrow. I wish, I wish. But where did it go? Why are we still here? Five gold pieces. Let's just go to bed. Oh, I was so sure this was it. I had this feeling like, like we weren't going to be stuck in Old Town anymore. Why didn't the box take us with it? What are you doing here? I'm sure I didn't wish for you. All right, fine. Welcome to our little paradise. Come on, Sparrow, go to bed. Ho! Oh, all right, to settle down. There's a nice, uh, angry, stray dog. Quiet, boy. What do you want? I work for Lord Lucian, miss, and he would very much like to see you in his castle. I've been sent to collect you. It did work. Our wish came true. Come on, little Sparrow, wake up. It's all right, doggy. 
We're going to Lord Lucian's castle. I'll come back for you, I promise. Evening, Jeeves. Here are the children Lord Lucian asked for. Excellent. Hello, young masters. Hello, sir. If you'd follow me, please. We look up at this castle every day and think how nice it is. We both do. But inside, it's even more beautiful than I imagined. It is quite wonderful, isn't it? Ah, hello, Master Garth. Ha, huh, a man of few words. Where is the Grand Dining Hall? Oh, in the North Wing. Lord Lucian hasn't been in there since... since the tragic deaths of Lady Fairfax and little Amelia. Oh, I heard. That was so awful. Yes, he uh, misses them terribly. So, where does he eat? Actually, he takes most of his meals in his study. He's in there working all hours doing research. What does he research? Well, history, mostly. Lord Lucian is quite keen on antiquities of all sorts, but he's chiefly interested in things relating to the Old Kingdom. There was a trader in Old Town who said his stuff was from the Old Kingdom. Uh, yes, yes. I believe Lord Lucian heard about that. We bought a piece of it. And we made a wish, and now we're here. Well, that's wonderful. Now, when you meet Lord Lucian, you must show respect at all times. Address him as my lord, speak only when spoken to. Yes, sir. And do not mention Lady Fairfax or Amelia. Here we are. Lord Lucian, the children are here. Children, it's come to my attention that you have some sort of magic box. May I see it? It vanished, my lord. We were winding it up and we made a wish and then it started to glow and it disappeared. After you used it? Yes, my lord. The man who sold it to us said it was magic. The box is of no interest to me. What's remarkable is that you were able to use it. What was your wish? <laughs> well, speak up. What did you wish for? To live in a castle, like this one. <laughs> Perhaps that could be arranged. I'm working to rebuild... Well, I'm working on something wonderful, for which I need individuals with particular talents. Let us find out if you possess them. Would you kindly stand in the circle, please? Um... I promise it won't hurt you. What's that? Nothing to worry about. Stand in the circle. It's true. Your blood. You are heroes. Heroes? You mean like in the old stories? Fourth. What's that? 
What's happening? This isn't what I wanted. But nothing must stand in my way. No, wait! Don't! No! I can't allow you to live either. I'm sorry. Lucian disappeared from Castle Fairfax that night, certain that those who might stand in his way were dead. But some grief is so great, even death may keep its distance. And so the boy survived. Days later, far from the dark alleys of Bowerstone, life slowly returned to his small broken body. The boy awoke to a familiar face watching over a strange bed. He reached out for the comfort of the dog's warm fur, ready to take his first steps in a new life. Ten winters blanketed Albion. Ten summers filled the air with the sounds of insects and laughter. With time, the boy's pain turned to strength. His grief became will. A will to change the world and to avenge the death that still haunted his every dream. Ah, there you are. And your faithful friend, too. Many years ago, I promised I would help you avenge your sister's death. That day has come. Today, you leave the safety of this camp and seek out Lucian. The journey will not be easy. There's a chest near your caravan. I've left a few things inside that might prove useful. Meet me by the gates when you're ready to leave. This concludes the epic tale, Hi ladies there, and gentlemen. Sparrow. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sure you'll be a great adventurer one day, Sparrow.
you know what's a good cure for feeling lonely? Me. You risk your life almost every day. How do you do it? Now come with me. Open the gate! Good luck! Take this. It is a powerful artifact, the kind of which all heroes once carried. It will grant you access to places others cannot go. It will also allow me to talk to you when necessary. Now, look down towards the lake. The seal will allow you to enter that tomb. In its darkest depths lies the Chamber of Fate. When you come out again, you will be stronger, much stronger. Now go. Don't be alarmed. I'm speaking to you through the guild seal. You will need to jump into that hole to continue. Don't worry. The water at the bottom will break your fall.
Those green orbs hold the knowledge and experience of the creatures that you kill. You'll have to shoot the switch to go any further.
Those green orbs hold the knowledge and experience of the creatures that you kill. Beyond these broken doors lies the Heroes' Guild. 
For centuries, this academy trained the most supremely gifted sons and daughters of Albion, bound together by the blood that flowed in their veins. Once worshipped by the people of Albion, the great heroes came to be feared and hated. No man alive today remembers the night the guild burned, and now it lies forgotten. But the heroes are not all gone. You are here, and that same heroic blood flows through you. Look around at these walls. Your forebear, one of the mightiest heroes who ever lived. At a young age, he suffered a devastating loss, from which he never truly recovered. But when the world tried to crush him, he fought back. He grew strong, strong enough to reshape the world as he saw fit. You must do the same. The guild has reacted to you. Step into the light. Learn the true power of heroes. Your blood is awakening. You can now channel the experience you have collected into strength, skill, or will. Strength improves combat with hand-to-hand -hand weapons. Skill allows you to shoot faster and with greater accuracy. Will gives you control over the forces of magic. Before you is a colors gate. It reacts to the will of one who seeks to use it. You have not been able to use will yet, but the simple act of reaching this place has given you will experience. You need to learn a will ability to activate the colors gate. Now use the knowledge you have gained so far to better yourself in strength, skill and will. Time control allows you to slow the world around. Blades creates magical swords to impale your enemies. Vortex creates a powerful windstorm that will pummel your... Chaos confuses your foes, making them unpredictable. Force push sends a blast of energy towards your enemies, hurling them into nearby objects. It is very... Raise dead causes the bones of the recently deceased to rise and fight for you. Blades creates magical swords to impale your enemies. Dexterous styles unlock special moves for ranged weapons and other abilities crucial to a skilled fighter. The greater your accuracy, the more damage you will inflict, the greater your speed, the fast the greater your accuracy, the more damage you will inflict with pistols, rifles and crossbows. Excellent. Can you feel the power coursing through you? It is only the beginning. Use your will ability to hit the flit switch and power up the gate. Once activated, it will allow you to travel back to Bower Lake. Well done. Now you are ready to begin your journey. Use the Colors Gate. Use your newfound abilities to defeat them. Make your way to Bowerstone 
I will meet you there. Those green orbs hold the knowledge and experience of the creatures that you kill. Apologies, citizen. The road to Bearstone is closed due to the bandit activity. I'm afraid that as long as the bandit thag is alive, the road stays closed. If you're in an hurry, like, you can always take care of thag yourself. So, the road to Bearstone is closed. It would seem Thag has been capturing traders on their way to the Bower Lake camp. He is a danger to all and must be dealt with. With your new power, you should be able to defeat him and his gang and continue your quest. No doubt they are at his camp near Bower Lake. Keep your wits about you. It may be a trap. Look out! It's an ambush! I'm gonna take your scalp home for my cat. That's the weirdest thing I've ever seen! Hey! Oh, look at Parliament!
you are now famous enough to use the follow and wait expression. Well done. I will tell the guards of Thag's death. With a threat removed, the road to Bowerstone can reopen. Thag keeps the key to the cage in his hut. It's in a chest. Oi, mate! Don't even think about letting them out. Those slaves belong to me. I paid for them. Look, I don't want any trouble. Give the key to me and I'll make it worth your while. No, don't listen to him! Shut up! You wouldn't do that to us, would you, Sparrow? I said shut it! I'm not going to tell you again. <gasps> Thank you so much! I <coughs> can't believe you did that! We're free! Free to wander the paths and byways of the land. No master but the wind itself. Time stretched out before us like... I like... What's the word I want, Reg? I don't know. And it's Regina. Right, I'm going now. Uh, thanks again! Ah, uh, yes, thanks. You just turned down hard cash. They will never forget your kindness. You're a nutter, you know that? A nutter! You're the dung eater who killed her! Meet me in Bowerstone Market by the clock tower. There is something you must see. Apparently, someone killed off that bandit leader. The hero of Bower Lake. I'm a bard, see? And that's the song I'm working on. It's, well, it's my first one. I'm just starting out. Listen to this. A hero went to Bower Lake and gave the thag a belly ache. <laughs> That's all I've got so far, but maybe if I walk round Bowerstone with you, I'll get some inspiration.
And here we have the local coach house. Usually it runs a fast service to Oakfield, but there's been bandit trouble down that way lately, so it's closed for a while. I was going to write a song about it, but then I didn't. You can find all sorts here. It's Bowerstone's general store. The food is probably better than the muck they sell at the stalls, less likely to give you the runs. This is the Bower Bridge. Nice and uh, bridgey, don't you think? <laughs> There's usually a few stalls set up if you fancy some shopping. The hero stood proudly on the bridge they called Bower, where a whiff of wet rat rose up rather sour. Uh, I'm going for a bit of an epic feel on that one. <laughs> Almost everything you can buy in Bowerstone gets here by boat. I try not to go near the wharf myself. Plenty of dodgy folk about, if you know what I mean. No, no, I don't think so. I have bad news. I'm afraid I will be delayed for a while. In the meantime, you should buy some new equipment and prepare for the challenges ahead. But you'll need money. If you need money, there are jobs to be found. I believe the blacksmith has an opening. And here is the town square, the very heart of Bowerstone. This is where I ply my humble trade. Cozy, isn't it? Now, let me think. The hero arrived at the town square, home of a minstrel without compare. Well, I have been compared to the cry of wild hogs during mating season, if that counts. See you later. Disgusting! Melee weapons of all sizes. Nice bit of forging. Jackets, gloves, shoes, I've got them all. Keep hitting it like that. We've sold swords to all the greatest That's one warriors. complete blade.
Oh, I really envy the bards of the past. Back when there were heroes everywhere. Not that any of them were as good as you, of course. As long as the economy A stays as it is, hammer blow. we should be all right. And what would you like? It's closing time for all shops. Nice hit. Sale now on. Prices slashed on selected items. You're doing a good job. It's shaping up nicely. What can I do for you today? That's how you make a blade. A nice sharp one. today you know how to use a hammer hello there dog a good blow Weapons are a thing of the past. The modern hero uses guns. I have to say, this is so exciting. I never thought I'd get to follow a real hero. What would you like today? It's a bargain at that price. That item's on sale. We're having a special on that today. I hope I can make a profit on that. We're having a special. Come back anytime. That item's on sale. What will it be?
that item's on sale. Come back if you have anything else to sell. There's a junk... Ah, yes. The noble blacksmith. The friend of any good adventurer. You can buy weapons here. I have returned. Bowers Meet me by the steel. clock tower in the main square. Oh, this should be good. <laughs> the hero visited the trusted blacksmith for a sword that would become pure myth. And uh, uh, the bard that was standing at the side decided to be quiet forthwith. I apologize for the delay. Events are moving quickly indeed. Think about your life. All the places you've been, the people you've known, everything you've done. How many moments, how many memories. Thag and his men, they had just as many. And now they have none, because of you. Do you feel the weight of responsibility yet? Your enthusiasm will have its uses, but mind it does not consume you. Come. The world is better off without Thag, and certainly Bower Lake is in your debt. But to really see the impact of your actions, you need look no further than Bowerstone. It has changed much since you lived here, particularly Old Town, where you spent your childhood. Never forget that even the simplest choice can have far-reaching consequences. Hello there, adventurer. Look. That is where Lucian is now. The Tattered Spire. The spire was intended as a conduit for all the magic in the world, granting the kingdom's ruler a power so great he could bend reality to his will. On the day it was completed, and the first wish made, a light bloomed inside, though its nature could not have been darker. Albion shattered. Centuries of civilization were wiped out in moments. Its people erased from existence. Some say that this was the first wish, an end to a hollow and corrupt world, and for a purer one to take its place. And now the spire rises once again by Lucian's hand. Lucian found documents which foretold the coming of one who would stop him using the spire. That is why your sister died. And that is why you will face him. The cards have shown me this. Here. Take a look. Each of the three heroes you see in the cards is a step on the hidden path to Lucian's downfall. And the life force of heroes, will itself, is the key to the Spire's power. Lucian's agents scour the land even as we speak. You must find the three heroes before Lucian does, because you are the fourth, the one who will bring his downfall. I have seen a vision of a holy ritual in Oakfield. Salvation, though bittersweet, is delivered by one of incredible strength. Speak to the abbot at the Temple of Light and see what you can learn of this pilgrim. The road to Oakfield will be dangerous. Good luck. The time is... Very late. It is now officially bedtime. Why, thank you. How's it going, dog? Why don't you give Oakfield a go? Hmm. Your other trousers at the cleaners, then. Need a title?
The thief. This hero harbors a soul without a glimmer of light. I see choked weeds and water. He lies just out of reach. The choice. A terrible decision waits in your future, and just beyond it, a glorious reward. The mage follows where wisdom leads, but always into conflict. Making an ally of this hero will cost you much. Well, hello again! It's you! Wow, you've changed since you were last running around this place. <laughs> But I recognize what's in those eyes. Goodness, decency, respect for the law. After you gave me those arrest warrants, I broke up Nicky the Nickname's whole crew, and Lord Lucian made me sheriff. Of course, then he disappeared. But crime is way down. An urban renewal has transformed this neighborhood into the most desirable district in Bowerstone. Fantastic, isn't it? As a good friend of the Sheriff, you'll find the shopkeepers here will give you a discount on all goods and services. Of course, the same discount extends to that sister of yours, should she be in town. Well, I won't take any more of your time. Now, stay out of trouble, won't you? <coughs> oh, enchanted island. Oh, just lie on the beach there for a minute. <laughs> get, get, get away. Get, get away. Oh, yeah. Too. Friendly-looking Bandits! <laughs> ah, oh, uh, hello. Uh, that, now, uh, this isn't what it looks like. <laughs> What'd you get there? Ooh, that's nice, that is. I'm sh...
bandits. Charge them and you'll be outnumbered. Why not dispatch them from here with your gun? Remember, you can spend experience on skill to improve your marksmanship. Dextra styles unlock special moves. Badly wounded. Consume healing potions or food to heal. Hey! Hauser! Take cover! You hob coat! The greater your speed, the faster Remember your gun. 
This can be over before they know it. This world is so boring. I've been sitting here thousands of years, and I've seen it all. Hey, you. What's that furry thing bounding up and down? Can it do any tricks? Make it do something fun. Anything to break this bitter monotony. Delightfully droll. What else can he do? I have no wish to spend another moment of my existence watching you. What about the little fellow? <laughs> Nothing like the simplistic pleasure of a dumb animal demeaning himself for my amusement. More. Is this what I've waited millennia for? A gormless hero and a feckless mutt? Do something! Please don't bore me with repetitions. Wanna get to Oakfield? You'll have to swim, lovey. <laughs> yeah, jump! 
Jump! Jump! Jump! Dive! What? Sorry! You always have to be different. For once, the bandits are correct. The only way forward is down. Hey! What's the matter? Are you afraid of heights? My son Joey's in there. He needs help, but um, I'm a little scared to go in alone. Maybe we could go in together. <laughs> oh, it's lucky you happened by. I didn't dare come in by myself. You see, yeah. Uh, well, I probably should have mentioned this, but uh, there might be one or two hobs in here. I'd always heard the stories, you know, that hobs carry off children and and turn them into more hobs. But those are just stories, right? I can't imagine. Sorry, I, I've never seen anything like this before. Ah, oh, they're disgusting. But they couldn't be... I mean, they, they couldn't actually have been children, could they? Oh, Joey. I'm sorry. You must think I'm pathetic. Let's keep moving. Ah, oh, for the love of them. I can't stand heights. I'll be alright if I just don't look down. No, wait! Don't go!
Oh, you're back! Oh, I'm so glad. I'll be all right if I just don't look down. See if you can find another way in while I try and get this door open. told him those stories were made up. They were true. <laughs> you should get out of there. Head for the surface, quickly. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm bored. Can we go back now? No. It's our job to guard the bridge. But it's broken! No one can cross it! What I didn't say was a hard job. <laughs> Keep your head down! Didn't expect to see a new face today. Two new faces even. Made it through without much trouble then, did you? Well, listen, 
This town's a peaceful place, so stay out of trouble, or you'll have me to deal with. That said, welcome to Oakfield. Oakfield is among the lushest regions of Albion. It owes its fertility to the extraordinary golden oak, which lives for only a few decades before producing a single golden acorn. The monks of the Temple of Light replant this acorn, and as the tree is reborn, so are all the lands and farms around. The abbot is quite nervous about this year's ritual. See what you can find out. Father, the sacred texts clearly say that only two monks may enter the cave, no one else. I'll not send my only child into unknown dangers without any protection. <clears throat> ah, hello there, my child. I wonder... Brothers, leave us. Let me take a look at you for a moment. Hmm? Haven? Quite imposing. But I can't send just anyone in there. Huh. Quite impressive, but... No, I think not. You look imposing, all right, but I can't entrust our community's survival to a complete stranger. Perhaps if you built up a reputation, I'd be more inclined to trust you. Yes. Rookridge has been having a horrible time with bandits lately. Why don't you go to the tavern and see if you can do anything about them? That would be a good start. The blessing must go forward if you're to find the pilgrim. You must gain the abbot's favor. Perhaps you can find a way to impress him in the town. Use your map to see where quests and jobs are. Your map can give you information about regions, points of interest, and much more. I suggest you look at your quests now. Chopping up wood. You heard of any jobs like that?
chocolate. We Guns, guns, guns! Maybe we can do a special offer for you. It's expensive for a reason. It's the best. I hope I can make a profit on that. <laughs> you like showing off your weapon, don't you? A good look at you. An adventurer? Why didn't I think of this before? Who better to encapsulate the struggle between brutal survival and enlightened intellect? And such remarkable physiognomy. I shall immortalize you at once. <laughs> Our goal is nothing less than the creation of life, to animate the inanimate, to insufflate stone with soul. But I need your help. You must strike a pose long enough for me to draw a mental sketch, and only stop when I tell you. Now, let the virtuosity commence! Again, and please hold your pose till the end. I must memorize every aspect. Yes, your technique is astounding. Fantastic. I. No, no, no. Why must you ruin my art with your absent mindedness? Yes, your technique is astounding. Fantastic! I hope you can sustain this performance. How perfectly statuesque! Keep it up! I have never seen such modeling. Just a bit longer! Oh, you have snatched a moment in time and made it yours. Now, I shall make it mine. Bravo! The idea deal has become real. You have reached into the embers of the ephemeral and pulled out the fire of eternity. You can leave now. I must get started on the statue. I shall call it the Semiotics of Stillness. It should be ready next time you pass through. If it's a success, perhaps you can model for me again someday.
Oh dear, oh dear. How could this happen? I mean, right after I bought the deeds too. Blam! Down it goes! So you'll get rid of all the bandits in Rookridge? Wondrous! I knew I could count on you, old friend. Please be careful, though. These villains are a dangerous lot. The guards haven't had much luck, but with you on board, I know it will all turn out spiffingly. That gold will be rolling in in no time. Hone your strategies with a clever game. I have titles for the great. Game! or something to <laughs> That's right, suck up those shots. You're not gonna kill me, are ya? Come on, it's all a big mistake. Like my shooting. <laughs> You think you're gonna catch me? Why do you think they call me Dash? Stupid! I could have run the cards before I was out of nappies. What chance have you got? The last idiot who tried to chase me went blue in the face and killed over. And I was already miles away. I could shoot your smug mug all day long. <laughs> Sorry, scum. Got a Dash. What the hell? He had a wife and kids, you know. That shooting's gonna kill ya! 
He thinks he can... You're the dung eater who killed Thag! For some cover! Quick! Not Still there? You're wasting your time, you drowsy slug! Rookridge is mine, you hear? I'll use your blood to paint a sign with my name on it! I uh, don't know if they're noticed, mate, but they're getting shot! You haven't killed us all yet! You're making an easy target! Don't even bother coming after me! I'm the fastest man in Albion! No idea where he is! What have you got? Take cover! Lost your damn dog! Go chase a chain of sausages, you vicious mutt! Well done. Your actions continue to shape the world.
Is it true you can lick yourself? Have you got what it takes to play the greatest game ever conceived? You know, that's really funny. Just ah, the hero returns! A stupendous success! Jolly well done! Of course, turns out those deeds weren't entirely genuine, so the toll thing isn't going to work out quite as planified. Still, at least it's not me who has to rebuild the bridge now. Okay, so I might be broke, but I'll bounce back. Always do. Anyway, here's my trusty Thessaurus, as promised. You never know when you'll be caught in a lexicological quandary. Thanks to you, the way to Bowerstone is now open again. You're almost famous enough. A few people are whispering of your deeds, but that's not quite enough. With a few more deeds like that, the abbot will have no choice but to accept you as the escort. Don't you stand there! This calls for some old-fashioned bandit vengeance.
Are you... Are you looking at me? You... Can you see me? Oh, finally. I've been wandering this place so long. So lost. So... So angry. I need to find peace. I need to find justice. Maybe you can help me. You have no idea what I've suffered. The pain that still keeps me in this world. I was going to get married, you know. To Alex, the prettiest girl in town. We spent so long planning the wedding. Picking out the flowers, choosing the food, the music, the words we'd speak. And then the big day came. And... And she didn't show up. Please, you're the only one who can bring me justice. I want her to feel what I felt that day. The pain, the humiliation. I want her heart to shatter in so many pieces, she can't go on living. Will you help me? Yes. Excellent. It won't be easy, though. You'll have to make her fall in love with you utterly and completely. Then, when she's ready to accept your proposal, when she can't imagine her life without you, give her this. I've spent a long time thinking of the exact right wording. And even longer getting it onto paper. Well, I am incorporeal, after all. Which makes it all the more impressive that I managed to get this, too. In case you need the help, or no, I did. Name by a title today. Welcome to this region, stranger. You a visitor to the... these parts. Take your time. Plenty for everyone. Finest items. A Oh, I didn't see you there. Isn't it amazing? All these people... 
They look so happy, don't they? I'm sorry. Don't mind me. My name's Alex. I'm... I'm sure you're a really nice person, but I'm not really much of a talker these days. My, aren't you furry? Any help there? Do tell. The more you spend, the better hey. for Nice. Losing I should like to write that. Stalls. Pretty good. Excellent. Good stuff. Great. Oh, this is so romantic that I. I, I really, 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 really love it. Really, it is nice. This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Marvelous. Oh, I was quite upset, so but incredibly that helped. romantic. Even more so now. You're really quite something. I love that. Mm. And I love it here. Great stuff. Yeah, good. That's good. Oh. You tease. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's just so romantic. <laughs> Oh, good. Maybe even great. You're Not a fine one. Appreciated. You have given me a bit of hope. Doesn't good matter stuff. how many times Thank I Thank you speak. very it much. It just gets better. I love that. And I love much it here. Appreciated. Good. You're such a charmer. You're a much fine one. Appreciated. Oh, very wow. good. Great. Oh, I see. Oh, I like that a lot. Thank you very I much. I want you all to sharpen up. Excellent. Wow. Ah, now mm. I approve of that. Not bad. Lovely. Yeah. Good stuff. Wonderful. Oh, yes. oh, Thank you very nice. much. Lovely. Love it. Not bad. Well, not good. Stop. Uh, Wonderful. Good. Good. Not much. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate good. Wow. Good. 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 One. Great oh, stuff. good stuff. Really cool. Great. Wonderful. Yeah. Good. Great. Maybe even great. Good. Some of the shops are starting to. run low on stock. There's a small That's sale right. on in the shop, yes. but I'll wait for the real bargains. No. Oh, <laughs> oh this wow. is just the nice. most romantic Good thing I've even. ever, ever seen. Oh. oh, you're such a charmer. Mm. Not bad. Oh, thank you oh, very much. How romantic. Bob! Oh, oh, what I like oh, to see. You are a tease. Much appreciated. That's good. Thank you very much. Ooh, it was rather good. Not really. Oh, good. I'm just the luckiest woman in the world. I never thought I'd find happiness again. I never thought I'd deserve it. I... There's something I've never told you. I almost got married once before. He was a sweet boy, but... We were both so young. Too young. I got scared and ran away the day of the wedding. I hurt him so badly. He, he took his own life. I've carried that guilt with me all these years, never dreaming I could love again. Until I met you. Great. You wouldn't get me anywhere near the Temple of Shadows. That place is spooky. Hi there. Haven't seen you around before. Seen any bandits recently? Scum, all of them. Surely you would want wow, someone who really loves you. Oh, I 
like it. I don't know what to say. We should really wait until we're both ready. Hi there, Sparrow. Amazing. Yay! Show us what you have there. Look at you go! Not bad. Yeah? There must be a drawing I of you in the dictionary. I can say I like oh, that. Yeah, word. that's Romantic. what I'm talking about. So you got engaged? You made that's me proud great. to be a woman. You could probably make a tiny bit of a profit if you look for the shortages in this town. Over there looks like fun. It's not the nicest, is it? Let's go that way. I've seen much better houses. Within every lifetime there are moments of greatness, even perfection, some solitary, but others shared. On a sunny morning, under a clear sky, the villagers crowded together to witness two people stand and declare their love for each other. Some say they were a strange couple, others that they saw a story of true love. Only time would tell. I like you. How about? You've done it. Almost everyone in Oakfield has heard of you. Now you can go back to the abbot. You should be wearing that top. Up to you, really. I'd never say no to you, darling. Whoa. Really quite wonderful. Oh, how marvelous. Good, even. Amazing. When somebody asks me who I killed today, I just have to say, nobody knew. We're under fire!
So, you fell in love with her, did you? The strange thing is, I'm not mad anymore. I feel at peace. I asked you to do such a terrible thing. I'm just glad you knew better. I never thought of how much she'd suffered already. Treat her well, will you? Or I'll be back to haunt you. It's you. I prayed for your return. I heard what you did in Rookridge. I think you could be of great use to us. Does the Golden Oak really need it? Come, walk with me a while. Now, nourishing the Golden Acorn is done with holy water from the Wellspring of Light. But the spring is located in a nearby cave, which is said to be quite dangerous. Our sacred text says two monks must enter this cave, the strongest and a second of the abbot's choosing. Obviously this concerns me, especially since the strongest monk here is my own child. So instead of a second monk, I have chosen to send a protector for the first. And that's you, if you're interested. The cave is just at the end of this road. You probably passed it on your way here. Our strongest monk will be waiting for you when you're ready. Now then, I must gather the others and prepare for the blessing. Our first hero awaits us. Even if they do not yet realize it. You can do it on your own. I'm tired of following you around. Huh? souls left unbroken by white balverines. Ah, I knew my lovely singing voice would bring the crowds. So you're my escort then? My father said you'd be coming by. Hey there, boy! 
Hello! Oh, you're a strong, handsome fellow, aren't you? I feel better having you with me in that cave. Yes, I will. I'm Sister Hannah. Some people call me Hammer when they think they're being clever. They're not. But I can't do much about it because monks make a solemn vow never to bash anyone's face in. Did my father mention that? Yeah. Whatever fighting's to be done in there, it's all yours. We require a hero, not a pacifist monk. We'll need her to find a reason to fight. I don't mind telling you, I'm a bit envious. You get all the excitement and I get to carry this bloody thing like some sort of mule. I mean, look at it. It's enormous. Golden or not, how much water does a bloody acorn need? After you. when you think about it. No one else has been in here for maybe a hundred years? Well, no monks anyway. I guess an adventurer or two could have come in, but if they got out alive, I didn't hear about it. Hmm, anyway. Hey, don't you wander off now, boy. Look up there. They're lovely. I think they're called wisps. Souls of the dead who never left this world. It's actually rather sad, isn't it? You are a quiet one. Watch your step, doggy. Looks a bit steep here. Do you reckon we'll run into anything nasty in here? I mean, a dark, creepy cave is a hell of a place for a holy spring. Especially for an order of pacifists. You know, I've heard of monks in the north who believe that to transcend violence, you have to understand it first. So instead of praying, they train to fight all day. They think that's the path to inner peace. Sometimes I think, what if the bloke who founded the Temple of Light had believed that? Or what if I'd been adopted by the warrior monks instead of my dad? This should be the central chamber. Wow, I've never seen anything like this, ever. Now, according to my father, we need to go through these three doors in order to collect the water. Putting weight on the pressure plates will open the doors. This one's the first. There you go. more and more weight as we go. Luckily I've got something unbelievably heavy right here. All we have to do is add a bit of water from the fountain that's in the room up ahead. Or at least it should be in the room up ahead. Steep in here as well. <coughs> this cave really is quite dangerous. Not that I've been in many caves. Not that I've been in many caves. Bet you have though, haven't you? Bet you have though, haven't you? Probably found all sorts of interesting things. Treasure and that. What do you reckon's down there? In the dark, at the bottom? Bodies, maybe. Bones. All the poor buggers who've taken a bad step. Now, there are two plates in this room. It'll take both of us to get the water flowing. I stand here so I can catch it. And you need to stand on that one. Right, there it goes. Oh yeah, I can feel this thing getting even heavier. That's nice, that is. So far, this isn't too bad. A couple of steep bits, but that's it. 
I really hope they find someone else to do this next time. Mind you, I'll be an old lady by then, so I'm probably off the hook. You know, this is probably going to be the highlight of my life. The day I carried a jug through a cave. Hardly epic poem stuff, is it? Did you hear something? No. Probably just my imagination. Don't talk much, do you? Right, I reckon that's all the water we're going to get from this one. Fantastic! Those things didn't stand a chance! Have you ever fought them before? Sure looked like you had. That or you're a very fast learner. I don't see any wisps now. And no hollow men followed us. Guess we're safe in here. Alright, second door, second place. Here's the next one. I'll stand by the fountain to catch the water, same as before. Ah, oh, brilliant. Just have to wait until this thing stops running. You'd think they would have made this jug with a flat bottom in case you want to have a rest. But as it is, it would just tip over, and then where would we be? Here they come! Not bad! Whoa! You never saw that coming! Yeah! Great shot! That'll teach him to come back to life. Nice shot! Oh, that was 
really impressive. Wow, that must have been painful. If I can feel pain. enough ammo to keep doing that. That was great. Killed it with one blow. Full, back to the central chamber then. Should only be one room left to go. So we're nearly finished. What in the world was that? Are you ready for whatever that was? What's on the other side? You think he's all right? Okay, I'm getting worried now. What you got there? Of hollow men. Is it you? Is it you, boy? Quite a companion you've got. Remind me not to let him lick me again. <laughs> Shall we? Right, so we've got one more room to go through and then we should be finished. Don't get too far ahead, though. I don't know what made that noise and I'm not keen to find out.
moment there. Well, for several moments. I... thank you. You were brilliant. On we go, then. This is it. This is the final room. Should be nearly done now. I know I said that before, but hopefully this time it's true. I think that's the last plate over there. Lords of Light, bless this water, that with it we may give rise to new life once more. As new life rises, so shall we. Sister Hannah! Brother Robin? What is it? It's your father! One of Lucian's men! He's holding him hostage at the temple! He's got a gun! I have to save my father! <sighs> Come on! We have to get to the temple! One of Lucian's agents has come to the temple. Go after her. Okay. He's one of Lucian's men. You're coming with me, or he dies. Like hell I am. You let him go before I break you in half. Don't make me kill you too.
I'm sorry, Father. Not that I broke my vow. I'm sorry I didn't break it sooner. I never did fit in at this place. We both knew that. And now I'm making a new vow. Lucian will die for what he did to you. I won't break this one. Sister Hannah, the blessing. You do it. As new life rises, so shall we. As the seed returns to the earth, so do we all. Is that it then? My father's gone. The golden oak is flourishing again. So now life just goes on as before, does it? The other monks may believe that, but your eyes have been opened. Where did you come from? Who are you? Someone who can tell you much about Lucian. Where he is, what his plans are, and how you can gain your revenge, if you will listen. I want to know everything. Then come with me, Sister Hannah. Call me Hammer. Taken Hammer to the Guild. You've done well, hero. You have gathered the first of the three heroes, and we are one step closer to defeating Lucian's plans. It will take some time for Hammer to overcome her grief, and longer to explain her role in Lucian's downfall. Perhaps this would be a good time to upgrade your equipment. I believe there is a sale in Bowerstone. It may well be worth a visit. Come back to the Guild when you are ready. He seems all right. The slavers are at it again. Why can't someone sort them out? Take it's those trousers off, time they're foul. For all shots. Those chairs in my lounge are Keep hitting it like that. Try to hit it's the blade. Losing time for all. All shops. The shops are now closing. Want some healthy drink? I'll pay you back. Titles for 
sale. Titles for sale. Learn, Sparrow. It's nice to sit down as a family. Mom, my food is looking at me. You'll never make a blacksmith doing that. You're doing a good job. One blade done. How do you like my new clothes? Just bought them the other day. I sent my servants to the shops this morning, and they still haven't returned. Most are some. Really do you know where I can I get them? Badges. Right here in time with you. What's going on in the world? I have a...
cousin who lives there. Haven't got any news, I'm afraid. Hi there, Sparrow. The time is very late. Just bought them the other day. Nothing to so I was in the shop really Light late. Light up! Out! There you are. I believe the second of our heroes, the mage, is in Brightwood. There is a powerful will user there, called Garth. Do you remember that name? He was there the night Lucian killed Rose. You didn't tell me that. How are we supposed to trust him? Garth believed Lucian's interest in the Old Kingdom was purely academic, like his own. And Lucian, for his part, thought Garth was merely a brilliant scholar. When each learned the truth about the other, their partnership ended. Violently. You will find Garth in Brightwood Tower. I have seen a vision of him toiling on some ancient technology there. Surely he intends to stop Lucian, but he cannot do so without help. Go and inform him of our intent. Hammer, you should remain here. Why? I'm ready. With Lucian still searching for heroes, it's safest for you here. Fine. But don't think you're holding me back when the action starts. My father thought his faith would protect him from the world. I won't make the same mistake. Go now. So I get to stay here with Mrs. Barrel of Laughs while you go off into the world? Great! And I don't give a bang. Keep your head down. This calls for some old fighter, bud.
Someone or something is coming your way. I have never felt anything like it. Lucian's men are attacking. You must save Garth. Lie down, you rock! Yeah! 
a perder. I'm scared of you? You're a freak. Lucian's failed experiment. Nothing more. You left too soon, Garth. Lord Lucian's experiment was a radical success. You are coming with me. There was nothing you could do. That was Lucian's commandant. And apparently he now controls a shard. An old kingdom weapon of great power. Lucian's strength grows ever more formidable, as does his mastery of the spire and its awful machinery. Come back to the guild.
Sounds like you could have used my help after all. I knew I should have come. We cannot allow Lucian to keep Garth. You must get him out of there. There being the Spire? We don't even know what's inside that thing, much less how to get there. There is one who might know. When Lucian left for the Spire, he essentially abandoned his staff. His old butler, Jeeves, now spends his days at the Cowan Corset. His butler? I bet he saw his fair share of dirty dealings. Well, if it means a trip to the pub, we'll just have to make that sacrifice. The task requires tact and delicacy, something I believe you're unfamiliar with, Hammer. Why are you staring at me? This is the part where you say, no offense? <sighs> Looks like you're on your own again. There is no time to waste. Go now. Go to the coward corset in Bowerstone and talk to Jeeves. Guess I'm to stay here? I'll just stay over here, being indelicate and tactless. Wish to model for me again? Stalls now opening for business. You know what to do. Begin hosing. Anything you like, but remember to hold it until I tell you to finish. is astounding! Fantastic! I hope you can sustain this performance. How perfectly statuesque! Keep it up! I have never seen such modeling. Just a bit longer! Oh, we are aiming for the extraordinary here. And you are giving me mundane. Never mind. It shall have to do. The world cannot wait for my work any longer. to model for me again? I heard there was a prophecy about you. Yeah, something about 
We must strive to achieve through physical truths some kind of emotional truth. Now, whose? Yes, your technique is astounding. Fantastic! I hope you can sustain this performance. How perfectly statuesque! Keep it up! I have never seen such modeling. Just a bit longer! Bravo! The ideal has become real! You have reached into the embers of the ephemeral and pulled out the fire of eternity. Of course, whatever you want. Pleasure dealing with you. Remember, no refunds. Excellent choice. Can I have a great. Rowie Pop? Just great. I mean that. Change your appearance. You're always welcome here. We're having a special on that today. with some of our excess I will serve you any way you like I mean it there says is. I'm not allowed to puppy oh uh anything I can get you it's a bargain at that price Oh, it's expensive for a reason. It's the best. You won't regret spend that items on sale. We've sold swords to all oh, games. Something to drink? Hey, what are you going to do? Choose your moniker.
I was gonna kill you quick, but now I've changed my mind. You're a city! Breathe your last breath, adventuring. <laughs> Die for cover, you dick! <laughs> oh well, more gold for the rest of us, I guess. I've got enough bullets for it. Less of us to share the spoils with, I guess. You're no bandit! I'm gonna kill you extra slow just for pretending to be one of us! Look out! He's gonna regret the day he ever laid eyes on us! He's our flesh wound, mate! Think you can murder my mates like this? You're under fire!
It was your fault. You're the one who found it. You're the one who read the words. It's your fault. You're the one who said I was a chicken because I wouldn't read it in the first place. <laughs> yes, but you're the one who... Hey, look! You have to help us! He, he raised, raised the dead! The dead. Mother will kill oh, us if she finds you. out. You see, we read aloud from this book we found called the Normanomicon. You're the one who found it, remember? Yeah, and you're the one who read... The thing oh, is, never mind. we sort of the thing is, accidentally summoned a few hollow men. A few hundred. And now they have the book. Only because you dropped it, you big girl. You need to clear the graveyard so we can get the book back and put them all back where they came from. Where do you think they came from? I don't know. You summon them. Next time you want us to explore graveyards, hit yourself with a mallet instead. And next time you want to read a book, hit yourself with a giant axe instead. You're just mad because you can't read ancient languages. Oh, yes. I wish I could make lots of corpses who want to eat me a pier whenever I wanted. I knew it. Always so jealous. Something. I know I did. You'll never get to West Point. This is well, really.
You might as well use a wee toy slingshot, you big baby. there when it happened, in Brightwood Tower. Yeah! <laughs> hey, I thought you were nice.
Your shooting's as bad as your body odor. You'll be famous one day.
What page was the undo spell on? Uh, oh, here we are. Tantir Barada Kanda. Mokluk. What? Stalls are now closing! Blimey, look who it is. You were just a nipper last time I saw you. Running around with that sister of yours. You remember old Arthur, don't you? Sure you do. What name those warrants to me when I asked you so nicely? Now, I've got a little proposition for you. These friends of mine, fine fellas to the last, they've fallen into a touch of vexation during a routine commercial transaction. You know how it is. Certain commodity needs to be got hold of, and the proprietor is, shall we say, disinclined to flog it off to said gentleman. Well, you restrict trading like that, the whole economy collapses. So we're going to have to nick it. The Mark is a farmer in Brightwood. He used to be a guard, so we could use someone like you. What do you say? So, you interested? Terrific. Now, my boys are a touch wary of strangers. Professional hazard. So when you get to their camp, you'll need to whistle three times. Off you go, then. Oh, no. I'll ask you to try shooting me, but you'd probably poke your eye out. Mm, you? 
Are you famous? Nah, I didn't think so. Always a pleasure to help you. It's worth every ounce of gold, believe me. The world serving you is an honor. Nice doing business with you. You won't regret that purchase. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Always a pleasure to serve you.
pretty quiet, eh? Anyone got any cards? Was that a whistle? One, two, and eh? Uh, that was three, wasn't it? Yeah. Time to jump! I don't know. It's pretty high. Good. About time Arthur sent us a competent grafter. Call me Ripper. That weasel told you what we're after, right? The farmer's name is Giles. Spent 30 years on patrol before he packed it in for a life of soil bothering. Thing is, he's got a little item tucked away in his basement we'd really like to get our hands on. Just don't try getting it yourself, you hear? Damn it, Ripper! I told you I'd get it! Just need a little more time, is all! You lost what? Three men last week? Another two this week? You're building yourself a nice little graveyard. I got the wife, didn't I? Yeah. That really helped us out, Ethan. Now he's got an army of his pig pals to protect the farm. Probably getting ready to hunt us down, too. Then you think this hood can take them all on? I've got a feeling our new friend will succeed. Or die trying. One can hope. Listen, if you try taking the stuff in the basement for yourself, we'll kill you ourselves.
Here comes one of them now. Get ready to fire! Famous enough to use the blow kiss expression. just had to go and find out what it was, didn't you? Told you we couldn't trust him. No, but we can certainly kill him. That's all you had to say. You might as well... You just made it personal.
run! Quickly, get out of here! Whole place is covered in poison gas. Very bad. Deadly even. <coughs> okay, so there's no gas, but, but there could be any moment now. Yes, terrible boils. Blood pouring out of every orifice. Uh, any moment. Look, just bugger off, will you? Nothing here for the likes of you. Just boring, run-of-the-mill, non hero stuff. Honestly... Still here! Please just go away and don't tell anyone I'm here. I'm begging you, you don't understand. I used to be important. If the other doors had... I'll simply die of embarrassment if you see what I've got. So it can't be worth it, can it? Find another door. What would you like today? Come back any time.
You'll be Excuse me, sir. Can I interest you in joining the Temple of Shadows? <laughs> That's the spirit! And may I say, you have a fine, evil laugh. We're the fastest growing cult in Albion, you know. The entry requirements are quite simple. The Temple insists all potential members perform an abominable act of nefarious evil. Now, of course, back when I joined, it was just kicking the crutches from disabled beggars. But you... you'll have to... eat.
Five crunchy chicks. Ah, excellent! You have to swallow every last bit, you know. The feathers, the bones, the... the beak. Oh, excuse me, please. I can't believe you did that! It, it was still alive! <laughs> oh, oh, I think I'm gonna be sick! That one was still fluttering as you swallowed it! <laughs> three? Ugh, you ate three! Oh, the last one I got this far dropped dead! We could still hear the chirping inside his stomach. Oh! There goes another one. Extra crunchy. Oh! You don't have any scruples, do you? That, that is the vilest thing I've ever seen. And this, coming from someone who never misses Torture Tuesdays. Mm. Anyway, yes, welcome to the temple. You've earned your place among the shadows. Welcome, young disciple, to the Temple of Shadows. I am Cornelius Grimm. You have entered a venerable society of dark worship, with a long history of wicked deeds and opprobrious transgressions. Fridays is poker night. Now, proceed down the hallway to our unholy wheel of misfortune. The most gruesome and terrifying device ever conceived. The instructions are right next to it. The Shadows just can't get enough sacrifices. Jolly well love them, they do. Each victim you bring into the sacrificial circle earns you a nice little bundle of loyalty points. And with the Temple of Shadows reward scheme, once you've earned enough points, you can collect a really quite smashing prize.
There's not even an ounce of good Purchase in you, is there? a brand new title! You got rid of all those undead in the cemetery. I can visit my grandmother's grave. Yeah! So, for a thousand, I could buy a house and... I see you. Well, well, well. Another offer. Dear me. So many inquisitive minds. So many who wish to know all Lucian's dirty little secrets. Well, everything you want to know is all written down. And I know where. And here's something else that's written down. My price. Don't let anyone else see it. It's my final offer. Take it or leave it. Lucian's diary is a riveting read, I assure you. I'm sure some private collector will make a nice place for it in his equally private home. Now, unless you've got a proposition, I suggest you leave me to my whiskey. You will do well to mind your manner. Come on, I haven't got all day. My thanks. It's a juicy little collection. I assure you, you won't regret it. I buried Lucian's diary for safekeeping. This is the map to its location. Thank you. 
I would show you where it is myself, but I've got some money to spend. <laughs> He's far too cowardly to double-cross you. The map will lead you to the diaries. You're no one without an interesting name. Buy a title today. <sighs> Hi, Sparrow. Hi. Can I help you? I heard there was a prophecy about you. Yeah, something about the worst marksman of all time. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> I never ask for an autograph again.
good work, but it will do you little good without a translation. Bring it back to the guild. Welcome back. I trust finding the diary was not too difficult. No, we need to... I will translate it for you. You can read that, but your eyes are... you know. I see other worlds than this one. And in other worlds you can see? I don't understand. Shh. Westcliff. Lucian is recruiting guards from Westcliff. Oh, come on. Westcliff's a dump. Full of brawlers and thugs. The only thing there is that arena. The Crucible. Those who win it are physically tough and mentally weak. Lucian is recruiting the winners as guards. You must enter the Crucible in Westcliff and emerge from it victorious. It is the only way into the Spire, the only way to get to Garth and rescue him. At last, some action! Meet you by the Bandit Road in Brightwood. Last one, there's a rotten hob! This research will prove invaluable. Now, you should go after her before her enthusiasm wears off, though I wonder if it ever does.
What, did you get a job? Buy a house? I've been here for ages. Right, let's go. Lucian's writings are fascinating. There is much in them that may interest you when you have time. For now, press on to Westcliff. Sounds like a good bit of light reading. Me, I prefer the idea of a little action. Speaking of which, I thought this area was completely overrun by bandits. Charming architecture. Looks like sharp, pointy logs are all the rage around here. Wonder where everyone is. Don't you? We're very much alike. You haven't killed us all yet. I might have ruined the element of surprise there. Sorry, I got a little caught up in it. Do you want me to kiss it better? I'm letting you win, you know? Wait till I decide.
Something's gonna kill ya! Let's spur this boy limb from limb! been dying to slice someone in half. I think it'll be you! Well, don't just stand there! Get cover! I never liked him anyway. This must be the infamous barricade. Doesn't look that tough. Boss! We can't stop them! They're still coming! Stand and fight, you cowardly knaves!
Why couldn't he hit a castle with a ball of dung? Come on, boys! Let's go! Goon! You couldn't have hit me in a million years! <laughs> Jesus, how does a computer like you stay alive? <laughs> you must be a right jammy bugger! I've heard a lot of stories about Westcliff. Place is supposed to be infested with Balverines. I heard this one story about these traders who got attacked. Balverines killed both parents, but the kids survived. A slaver found the poor things, took them back to his camp and locked them up in a cage. That night the kids turned, broke out of the cage and ripped every slaver in the camp to shreds. It makes you think, doesn't it? Wasn't it? I've spent my whole life praying, 
And meanwhile, the world was just as dangerous as ever. But now, this stretch of road is a little bit safer because of us. Come on! Balverines attacked us. They killed my husband. They killed my Frederick. It's all right, you're safe with us. They took my son. Can you show us where they took him? I... I think so. Find him.
You have turned depravity into an art. You are corruption personified. Enter, enter. Your reward awaits. You won't let anything happen to him, will you? You'll save him. Just don't get too far ahead. You need to stay with us. Oh, but my poor little Robert. I know, but you won't be able to help him if you get eaten, will you? Who knows what's waiting for us down here? We've got to be careful. Why the road has to go through a place like this is beyond me. Couldn't they have cut down a few trees instead?
she's right. Show no mercy and get out of that place quickly. But I can't see any way across that pit. There must be something we can do. the coffin all this time, you weak elbowed hog. <laughs>
made it. I don't think they'll follow us into the light. We were quite a team back there, weren't we? Those Balverine buggers didn't stand a chance. You see? This is what I'm talking about. We just did a load more good than all the prayers I've said in my whole life. Many die in their attempt to defeat the Crucible. But defeat it you must if you are to have any hope of joining Lucian's army and getting to Garth. Wow! Look at these two! You lost, little girl. I think it's a block run. Yeah, that's what makes it an insult, you idiot. Now shut it. Hold on, I think we found the brains of this operation. Wow, you trained your pet troll to speak. <laughs> Come on, you got some time to play with us, ain't ya? Yeah, let's play a wee game. I have an idea for a game using my hammer and your head. I wonder if there are special entry conditions. To the Crucible, I mean. You think you have to sign some sort of waiver? Why don't you show us what you've got? Or ain't you got nothing? Yeah! Show us! Let's just ignore these idiots. You two, intimate, are you? <laughs> yeah, you and... What's that mean, Ron? Ah, wit, intelligence and looks. Is there anything these two don't have? Why don't you get back to your cosy little homes? You don't belong here. Go back home. Nice and cosy Ha! Quite a couple of flirts, you two are. Mind you don't fall over and hurt yourself. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, yeah. Like what you did the other day, right, Ron? Shut up. Not that I don't enjoy hanging around this little holiday destination, but we should probably see about getting into the Crucible. You're just a pair of stupid tourists, ain't ya? Yeah, tourists are stupid. Uh, are we tourists, Ron? No, you're academics, quite clearly. I wonder how long the Crucible's been around, anyway. Must have been a bugger to build. You'll never survive round here, you know. Two weaklings like you. Yeah, two weaklings like you. La la la, not listening. What's wrong? I heard stories lost, about the Crucible when I was a little girl. I used to imagine what you it would lost be like to fight babies. it. Never thought I'd see it for oh, real. poor babies. We can follow you all day. Never get rid of us. Uh, actually, my legs are getting kind of tired, Ron. Some seen pretty unsavoury types around here. Around here Present company time. excluded, of course. You two take a biscuit. We don't get no biscuits. Bah! This is getting old. Let's get drank instead. Yeah! Let's get drunk instead of all. I wonder how many of these blokes are from the bandit camp we broke up. They're in for a nasty surprise when they get home tonight. Got some nice quality gear here. I wonder how they're fixed for war hammers. You 
won't regret spending so much. It's really worth it. Not that I don't enjoy hanging around this little holiday destination, but we should probably see about getting into the crucible. I'm gonna sell you. Try the Westcliff shooting range if you think you've got what it takes. <laughs> you look like a chap who can handle a gun. Lovely. Rules are simple. Hit as many targets as you can. Score enough and you'll make it to the next section. Got it? Oh, and don't you be shooting any bandits now. It'll cost you points. You ain't no filthy bandit killer, are ya? It's them rotten villagers you're aiming for. Fish in a bloody barrel. <laughs> Start shooting! You're a killer! You're one hell of a shot. Oh, nice It's a cardboard massacre! <laughs> That's just embarrassing. You sure you shot anything before? It's a cardboard massacre. Oh, you're a killer. Made it to round two. Start shooting. Hey, uh, did everyone see that lousy shot? You gotta try harder than that. You're one hell of a shot. Try opening your eyes this time. It's a cardboard massacre! So close, but not close enough. Oh, I shoot it. It's a cardboard massacre! Well, bully for you. You made it to the final round. Start shooting! Ah! Oh, you're a killer! One hell of a shot. It's a cardboard massacre. Good eye. That's one steady end you got. How did you ever survive in the real world? Wow, 
I've got to say, that's some good shooting. Right then, let's see what you've won. Now this could come in handy, I'm sure. You look like a chap who can handle a gun. Wanna try your luck in the shooting range? Start shooting! Did everyone see that lousy shot? You've got to try on. Ah, fat. How did you ever survive in a ring? Oh, you're a killer. Robbie. You sure you shot anything before? Check your aim, will ya? <laughs> That's just embarrassing. You're one hell of a shot. You've made it to round two! Start shooting! Ah! Oh, nice shooting. Why don't you try opening your eyes this time? Shot. It's a cardboard massacre. Are you sure you shot anything before? Wouldn't mind doing some loot with you, I tell ya. Bully for you. You've made it to the final round. Start shooting. Right then, let's see what you've won. Now this could come in handy, I'm sure. You look like a chap who can handle a gun. Wanna try... Try your luck in the shooting range. Start shooting! of a shot. Oh, 
You're a killer! How did you ever survive in the real So close, but not close enough. You sure you shot anything before? Wouldn't mind doing some looting with you, I tell you. One steady hand you've got. You're one hell of a shot. You've made it! Round two! Start shooting! Whew, that's just embarrassing. Check your aim, will ya? Rubbish! It's a cardboard massacre! Oh, my shoot! Oh, you're a killer! Are you sure you shot anything before? Why don't you try out the rise this time? You gotta try harder than that. Well, bully for you. You've made it to the final round. Start shooting. You ever survive in a ring? Oh, cracking shot. Rubbish. Oh, you're a killer. You're one hell of a shot. Another target. Right then, let's see what you've won. Not many are good enough to earn a prize like this. I'm surprised you were. Yeah. You look like a chap who can handle a gun. Wanna try your luck in the shooting? Start shooting! Oh, I shoot! Oh, you're a killer! It's a cardboard massacre! You've 
made it to round two. Start shooting. Ooh, that's just embarrassing. You gotta try harder than that. Hey, did everyone see that lousy shot? You're one hell of a shot. Oh, you're a killer! It's a cardboard massacre! Oh, I'm shooting. So close, but not close enough. Oh, you're a killer! Athletic! Well, bully for you. You've made it to the final round. Start shooting! You're one hell of a shot. Oh, I shoot. It's a cardboard massacre. You're one hell of a shot. Nice. Hey, don't shoot your bandits. Check your eyes. You're one hell of a shot. Oh, you're a killer. Rubbish. Oh, crack the shot. Well, I've got to say that's some good shooting. Right then, let's see what you've won. Well, put a bullet in my spleen. I never thought you'd be getting this. The big prize. How did you do it? You look like a chap who could handle a gun. <laughs> Come back when you want then. I'll be here.
Here we go then, right? I guess you've got to die of something. Look who it is! A crucible contender if ever I saw one! Been causing quite a commotion, ain't ya? Everyone knows who you are. And who are you? Me? <laughs> Everyone knows me. I'm Mad Doctor Strangler McGraw. Best crucible fighter there was back in his day. Bit redundant, isn't it? Look, if you want to compete, get on with it. There's the door. No way I'm letting that friend of yours in, though. She can stay out here and make fun of my name all she likes. Oh, they only let in one contender at a time, anyway. I'll see you when you get out. Good luck! Anyway, make sure you're properly kitted out before you go in. The crowd gets ever so upset when our fighters die too quickly. <laughs> but if you live, you become a legend, and you'll be a shoe-in to join Lucian's army. I don't think any winners have turned that opportunity down yet. Private sector security work is very lucrative, I hear. Right, no dogs allowed inside. Health and safety, you understand. Anyone looking for trouble? What would you like today? Oh, I really recommend that. Yeah, I think... Back... Oh... Yeah, I think you've got to... That can go on the... Sh Always happy to buy your unwanted goods. That can go on the shelf straight away. Always happy to buy your unwanted goods. Don't worry, I'll look after him. If the other side comes out tops, then the morality question kind of resolves itself. I couldn't be clearer, could it? No! 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 Gorgoron wants his mummy! Right, who's next then? Oh, well, love to, wouldn't I? Yeah, but still got this whole ethical entanglement to mull over. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, I would certainly embrace this opportunity, but, uh, um, um, I'm still waiting for my lucky robes to come back from the cleaners. Well, I can't possibly go on next. My, um, crossbow's got an awful cold. Do not look at Gorgoron. Gorgoron has an ingrowing toenail right now, a a an evil toenail. You, the new guy, it's your lucky day. Get your ass in there. You might want to read up on the rules. Not that most contenders can read. I can't wait to start fighting. If only those two idiots weren't there to blabber. So, here we are, Mad Dog, poised once again at the gates of bloodshed and greatness as another competitor faces the challenge of the Crucible. Round one, three, two, one, go! First way! Ah, those grubby, grubby, wild beasts! I hate them! Well, let's see how the new boy likes them! Can our plucky newcomer keep our bloodthirsty audience entertained? He better, or they won't be throwing down any gifts to help him out! 
Second wave. Three, two, one, go. And today is exciting. It may only be the first one, way, but he's already he's feeling the strain of the crucible. Two, one, go! Entertaining! Oh, nice! He takes more than a good eye to shoot like that. Mediocre! Eyes at least. It's a kill! These insects don't stand up, Charles. Shot of the scurrying beast. Yes, fill him with lead. What a kill! You can see the in his eyes. Perfect round. Well, we promised butchery, and butchery is what we delivered. And there are seven rounds to go.
Rogers Massacre! And we have five more still to come! Perfect round! to serve you. Most happy. You'll love it. Sensible buy. Have a nice day. I recommend that for anyone. Sensible buy. You'll love it. Just lovely. Round four, three, two, one, go! First play! Oh, this place brings out the old romantic in me! Arches, fog, dead trees! You've never been in there, have you? I would rather die first, old friend! Hence the thinking death! And I see nothing stirring in the waters down there! Second way! Three, two, one, go!
Round five. Three, two, one, go! First wave! Ah, takes me back to my youth. I spent some good years in a bandit. Did they call you? Bad puppy back then? <laughs> oh, oh, puppy? No! Oh. Killer! 
your clothes. This is turning into one heck of a crucible. Shame we only had two rounds to go. Perfect round. I'm sure we have what you need. Yeah. 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 Have a nice day. Sensible buy. You'll love it. Have a nice day. Just lovely. Enjoy slaughtering. all those people. Round seven. Three, two, one, go! First wave. Oh, you can smell the history of this arena. It smells of battle, of blood, of fear. And just a hint of the limit. Second wave. Three, two, one, go! Third wave. Three, two, one, go! Spectacular! Astonishing! He's made it to the last round! Perfect round!
Incredible! It's an extraordinary superhuman feat of inconceivable proportions! Unprecedented, some might say, if they were unaware of the precedence. He's as worthy a competitor as ever competed in this competition. Indeed! All that remains is to congratulate our glorious winner. We hope you've enjoyed this most bloody and most compelling of Crucible editions. Fare thee well, gentle spectators. Until the next time! Champion! That was something else. Best crucible in years. A classic performance that will be remembered for all time. Or at least as long as there are people around to remember it. <laughs> Best of luck, mate. Hope to see you around here again sometime. Certainly. Provided you don't suffer some horribly agonizing death on your travels. Bye bye now. Why do you always do that? Do what? Say stuff like that. It upsets people. Oh, don't be silly, mad dog. I'm a lovable personality. Everybody says so. So, are you going to consider that idea for a new round I was talking about, or what? The one with the weapons made out of cheese? I told you, dear friend, it's just too gimmicky. Oh, and that round with the vat of custard and the lady wrestlers from last year wasn't? That was classy. It was tasteful. It was delicious. Hmm. So how long do we have to stand here? As long as it takes, Maddie, my boy. As long as it takes. Why do they always hang round afterwards? Ah, oh, I expect it's the magnetic aura we project. Our witty banter. Our musky aroma. Well, I'm not saying anything else. My legs are starting to hurt. What was that? Oh, I was off in my own little world again. Very violent place it is too. was fantastic. I listened to the commentaries every step of the way. I even got in to see a few rounds. That one with the hobs. Bloody brilliant. Really makes me want to have a go myself. Yeah, alright. Don't get a big head. You won't fit in the boat. Well done. Not many make it through the crucible alive. The spire's not going to be much of a laugh either. You should take some time out before you go. You might want to visit your family, say goodbye, you know. Anyway, I'll make my way to the docks. So you know where to find me when you're all set to go. Hammer has a good point. Once you are in the spire, leaving will be difficult. And there are those who still need your help on these shores. If you abandon them now, 
they will surely come to harm. Do not get on that ship until you are truly ready to leave your quests behind. Garth isn't going anywhere. Ready to take on the world, are you? <laughs> there you are. Ready to start your glorious military career, then? Did you convince your wife to wait for you? Well, here I am to say my goodbyes. You know the last thing I said to my father before I went to the ritual cave? I can't remember. I can't remember if I said goodbye that morning or not. That's the funny thing about goodbyes. You never know when you'll get another one. I'm sorry, I didn't mean... This isn't like that. You'll do great out there. Right. No personal effects allowed on board, and no weapons. And no dogs. Don't worry. I'll look after Furface here. And your stuff as well. Just look at this place! We've done well casting in our lot with Lord Lucian. Whatever he's planning, me and Lil are gonna be set for life. Get moving! I've been with my Lil Get 13 years. Oh, no. Been faithful the whole time. If you could see her, you'd understand why. Name's Bob, by the way. What is that noise? I don't just hear it. I can feel it. This place feels wrong. Beggars believe it does. What is this place? Six years I was a mason's apprentice. I sure never saw any building like this. How is this possible? Oh, Kingdom Engineering, I reckon. But then how's it come back now? Shut it! 
The world outside these marvelous walls is a corrupt, rotting husk. Reason is absent. Instead of order, there is only chaos. Chaos does not punish evil nor reward righteousness. Chaos cuts innocent lives short, and we're to accept this as fate. I beg to differ. You stand in the center of a great instrument of change. With it, I shall remake the world, and my creation shall be unrecognizable in its perfection. But my will alone is not sufficient for such a monumental task. It is only through your toil, through your labors, through your conviction that Albion will be transformed. Do not fear the sound you hear, the throbbing you feel beneath your feet. These sensations will soon be as familiar as your own heartbeat. And so long as your heart continues to beat, all that I require of you is obedience. Now, sleep. sleep. Morning, maggot. Welcome to the Spire. Hope you like it, because you're never leaving. Right now, you're in the barracks. You'll eat and sleep here, and the rest of the time you will work, wherever the Commandant assigns you. Your job is keeping the scum building this place in line, and otherwise doing whatever the Commandant tells you without question. When you receive an order, you will obey it immediately. Which brings me to that new piece of jewellery you've got. The collar is part of Lord Lucian's obedience program. The Commandant will explain it to you. Main thing is, do what you're told. And don't try taking the collar off, because you can't. And the penalty for even trying is death. And not the quick and painless kind, either. Now report to the Commandant. was on torture duty last week. You feel bad at the beginning, but then, I don't know, you get used to it. We arrived together, remember? How are you settling in? Can you believe they put me on guard duty? On my first day too? I must have impressed someone. Oh, if Lil could see me now. She's always loved the bloke in uniform. Though I don't think she'd like the mask any more than I did. They look properly intimidating, but I can hardly breathe in that thing. I don't know how you got here. I know what you are. Lucian. It doesn't matter. Your power will do you no good as long as you wear that collar. Only the collar Be patient. Although he doesn't give me any trouble. Do you? Keeps nice this, and quiet. This is the payment for my life Anyway, sin. can't I'm wait to you. write to Lil. This is the Tell her all about it. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Sometimes I wonder what that food they give us every day is made of. I am the Commandant. 
Commandant. You are Recruit 273. That number is not random. It was assigned to you because I have broken 272 recruits before you. You are nothing more than the next link in the chain. You have been brought here to oversee the reconstruction of the Tattered Spire and to serve Lucian as he sees fit. My job is to ensure the obedience of guards like you. You will do everything I tell you without question. Failure to obey will cause the device around your neck to activate. This is not a pleasant experience. You will lose your willpower. Your memories and experiences will be drained away. This will continue until you submit. Perhaps you believe you will resist. Some do at first. A misguided sense of personal honor. You must decide. Is your honor really? that important to you. Now, come here. Obey me. Be still. Good. Now, look over there. The Spire has taken ten years so far, and it will take many more until it is complete. This project is ambitious beyond your wildest imaginings. Yet our progress is not a miracle. It is a product of obedience. Let us see how well you have learned. I am going to hit you, and you are going to thank me. Because I tell you to. Now, thank me. Obey! Once more, thank me! Obey! Excellent. Now, beg. Beg me to show mercy. You do understand the concept, don't you? Obey. Beg. Or be destroyed. You will show me respect. Good. You learn quickly. That will be all. The Commandant made me talk to a recruit this morning. He overheard the poor bastard saying he missed his family. I'm glad I don't have a family. I just had a strange. Maybe it's the collar. Hard to think sometimes with these sounds. You know, I hardly notice it anymore. It's as familiar as my own heartbeat. You have orders to report to the barracks! On my way, sir. Recruit 273. Report to the detention centre. Be patient. Time has little meaning here. This place is powerful, but it is only a shadow of what it will become. Can you hear it? The sound of our will being sapped. I don't know when we'll be able to speak again. The Commandant has threatened to move me somewhere deeper within the Spire. Uh, 
feed us. Help! Shut it! Ah, there you are. Stand here and guard these maggots till I get back. They're not allowed any food, though, so don't touch the controls or you'll be sorry. I'm gonna grab a quick bite. Mmm, tasty food. Yum, yum. Feed us! If you don't help me, I'll You're die! You're killing us! I even remember! Why are you doing this? We'll die if we don't eat! Why? Do something! I don't want to die here. We haven't eaten in weeks! Pull the lever! We'll die Please. if we don't eat! Do something! Help! Why are you doing this? Help. We haven't eaten we'll in die weeks. If we don't eat. I don't want to die here. You're Help. killing us. You... Why? Do something. We'll die if we don't eat. We'll die if we don't eat. Pull the lever, please. We Feed haven't us. eaten in weeks. I'll die. You're killing us! Why are you doing this? We'll die if we don't eat! I'm begging you! Do something! If you don't we'll help die me, if we don't I'll eat. die! Feed us! Why are you doing this? Me since You're I killing us! Remember. We haven't eaten in weeks! I don't want to die here. We haven't eaten in Feed weeks! Us. They haven't fed me since... I can't even remember. Do something! We'll die if we don't eat! Why? Pull the lead. Do something! Please! Help! We haven't eaten in weeks! We haven't Do eaten something. in weeks! Feed us! They haven't fed you us! Something. I can't even remember! We'll die if we don't eat! Why are you doing this? Pull You're killing us. us! Please! Feed us! I don't want to die here! We haven't I'm eaten in weeks! You. Do something! Why? If you don't help me... I'll die! Help! We haven't eaten they in haven't weeks! Fed me since... I don't want to die even here. Remember. We'll die if we don't eat! Feed us! Do something! I'm begging you! Do something! We haven't eaten in weeks! Alright, I'll take it from here. We'll they die won't last we another eat. night. I'll die. Commandant will be pleased. You're killing us! Look at me. Do that at least. Look me in the eye at least. Oh, not in the air. The Commandant wants to see you. The Commandant's right to keep this one caged. He's dangerous, he is. Hey, what are you doing in there, you nutter? The guy is mental. Stay strong. Don't let them break your will. Oh, my arm! 
arm's still killing me from those training sessions. You have done well so far. I have selected you for a special duty. Lucian shall remake the world. I believe you know this man. Guard 268. I, I order you to labor, be quiet. Through my conviction, Albion will be transformed. 268. Shut your mouth. The new world Those who do not obey can be made to. But those who cannot obey. All that is required of me is a Take the sword. My number is not random. I am nothing more than a <coughs> Obey. Obey. Kill him. This half wit is beyond repair. But you, I will salvage. Ten seconds. <sighs> you will make an excellent soldier. Dismissed. An unloved task slows the passage of time, an eternity passed within the spire. Each day the great black walls grew, each dawn grew darker in their shadow, and the deeds within the walls grew darker still. As years passed, the hero's task seemed ever more impossible. Lucian remained behind the great white light, Garth remained hidden, and others like the Commandant appeared, all as brutal and powerful as the first. And slowly, all thought of freedom or the outside world faded. Do yourself a favor and don't never, get on my bad never, side. Never. Officer 273, report to the Commandant. Was on torture duty last week. You feel... Construction of the upper tier begins tomorrow. The man guarding the site is overdue reporting in. I need someone dependable to check the site. If you find the man in dereliction of duty, escort him to the torture chamber and await further orders. You heading 
to the construction site. Again, hero. You came to rescue me. But you're no good to either of us with that collar on. There. I've removed it. It took me years to focus enough will to destroy our collars. And that guard. I've got nothing left. So when trouble comes, it's up to you. The only way out of the spire is through the Commandant's chamber. So ready yourself, and let's move. Wayne, that's the will user! And he's not wearing the collar! Get him! Excellent!
and destroy. Push up. I know what you're thinking, but it's not revenge I'm after. Revenge is just a fortunate byproduct. A new load of recruits is being brought in. Take a look. Now we need to find the Commandant. After all the promise you've shown, you betray me. Lord Lucian will kill me for failing to keep order. But I am obedient, and so before he does, I will eliminate you. Now, come here. I think. And the Commandant the fire of will kill you. you. There is nothing worse. Traitor. We can use this to reach the docks. Now come on!
You want to live, I suggest you all get back on the ship with us! I thought I would never see land again. I thank you for your help. Another friend of yours? Your furry friend has been coming here every day for a week. He knew that you would return victorious, even before I did. Ten years. Welcome back, my friend. You have done the impossible. And Garth, I welcome you too. Welcome me. You're in my way. So please, step aside. You know much about the Old Kingdom. Enough to know you cannot destroy the Spire alone. We share a common aim. All I ask is that you listen to what we can offer you. All right, I'll listen, but I promise nothing. I will go with Garth. Hammer is at the inn in Rookridge. You should see her before we talk again. She'll be overjoyed to know you're back. Oh, and here, you'll want this. Take my hand, Garth. We have a great deal to discuss. Do I have any choice? The shops are now closing! It's closing time for all shops! Thank you. 
Please, break the law. I look forward to running my sword through you. already and help me with it And find out! Yes, yes! If I didn't know better, it is you! You old bastard! Man, you look good considering. I can't believe it. You're really here. Why would you wear a coat like that? You did it. You rescued Garth. Would you like Took your sweet time, all right, but you did it. So what was it like in there? As horrible as I imagined? Well, never mind. I'll find out soon enough myself. We're back in business! Why am I keeping you here? You should be seeing your wife, not me. I'm meeting someone who might have some information on, you know, our number three. You should go. You have things to do, people to see. As soon as I have anything we can use, I'll head back to the guild and Teresa will call you. Oh, and welcome back. I missed you. I'm glad that day that Doc wasn't our last goodbye. You should take some time to recuperate before you come to the guild. Adventurer you call yourself. Malicious brute, more like. You'll be salivating with excitement with my great spinner box game. Emma has learned the location of the thief. Return to the guild as soon as you can.
you do with all them weapons? You might as well use a wee toy slingshot, you big baby. Couldn't they hit a castle with a ball of dung? <laughs> You there! Are you interested in lending your fellow citizens a helping hand? It's slavers! Snatching away honest folk they are! Heck of a problem! Are you no interested way, no in joining way, the no. fight against slavery? How would you like to earn some Marvelous. extra income civic ridding the land of criminals and rampaging I've down monsters? I've the last known location on this note. Better get a move on before the poor sods are sold. Or worse. I mean, think about. You are now evil enough to use the threatened expression. I'm begging you, you don't understand. I used to be important. If the other doors still here, please just. i 
left if you see it. So it can't be worth the panic. Behind something! <laughs> Don't fall asleep, lads! We stop! I was not born to be a slave! Help me, please! <laughs> you hob code! What did he ever do to you? Apart from trying to to be a slave! Help me, please! Thank you! Thank you! I have never been so relieved in my life!
As you can see, inaction also has its consequences. Without your help, the followers of light were slaughtered, the temple is deserted, and no more follow the ways of light. Hey! You look like the sort of goes into caves, dungeons and whatnot when people ask them to. You could help me. Yeah, it's my digs, you see. Yeah, I live in this cosy little cavern. Hardly any dampness at all. But I've been kicked out by a family of hobs. See, I came to the temple for shelter. But if you can kick those creatures out of my cave, well, I can go home. So you're not afraid of a few little hobs, surely. Ah, that's brilliant. Yeah, in you go then. I tell you what's wrong with this country. Hey, what are you doing with all them weapons? You might as well use a wee toy slingshot, you big baby. Oh, sure. I'd stand up right and do anything right I would. Film. That's what I'd do.
you were meant to get eaten, but you killed them. Murderer. You are now famous enough to use the scary laugh expression. Shopping at all power stores. Uh, divorced, are you? Yes, it that's what happens among the lower classes. Gold to spend. Hey! Isn't that yes, great? All right. Well, of course, we're expensive. The wealth of this... Just give me a chance. Or we'll find you something. We have this place under control. Your help is needed elsewhere. You think you're smart? <laughs> I've seen more brains in a slot bucket. I'd ask you to try shooting me, but you'd probably poke your eye out instead. We have the most useful tools you'll find any. Please, just take what you want. I... Enjoy! Enjoy! Thank you. 
by an adventurer, you know. Hmm. That means it's excellent. No! Please! Please! Oh, yeah! I can afford ah, this! I can, smell I can also dump thing. big piles of gold! Oh, uh, anything I can get you? Title. Talk to me. Yippee! What can I do for you then? Hey, what are you gonna do? Huh? I I'll get you whatever you need. Shoot me! Did you know there was a town? Oh, I'm shivering, mummy, help! The shops are now closing. It's close. Time for all shops. Oh. You're more of a crack pot than a crack shop. <laughs> You're the sorriest excuse for a hero, I am. Oi. Did you see Hammer? She is on her way as well, with the information she's gathered. Our friend has told me much about you. That night in the castle, your sister, I had no idea. If I'd known, I would have stopped him. Sorry it took me so long. Lucian's men are all over the place. You must be Hammer. And you must be Garth, Lucian's lackey. I was made to understand you might be mistrustful. I didn't anticipate your staggering wit and intellect. Oh yeah? And did you anticipate that I like to take a hammer and whack smug little spell flingers? This is not what we're here for. Hammer has information on the third hero. Mostly gathered from a tavern, I hear. Not one, lots of them. I did a proper tour. Right. I think this bloke, the thief, is a pirate called Reaver. He runs the port of Bloodstone to the southwest. And you got this from some drunk? Yeah. He sailed with Reaver for years. Said they captured hundreds of ships. 
Doesn't mean he's a hero. Lots of pirates capture ships. Reaver takes down galleons with one bullet. High winds, rough seas, a mile away, doesn't matter. He picks off the captain. The more impossible the shot, the quicker the crew surrenders. Impressive. But we're not trying to make Lucin surrender. No, we're not. Bloodstone is surrounded by Wraith Marsh on three sides, and Ocean on the fourth. No matter. We can reach it via Colus Gate. Not this one. It leads only to Hero Hill. Got another one handy, have you? I built one, at my tower. It can get us to Wraith Marsh. Okay, you're a genius. Does it work? It will take some time to activate, but it should work. Should. You must do this together. Lucian has sent men to guard Brightwood Tower. Okay then, let's go. After you, your brilliance. Barbarian. We shouldn't use the front gate. Lucian's men will be expecting us. Follow me. I know another way in. It really is great to have you back. Same old nonsense. Ignorant men trying to tell everyone how to live their lives based on books written a thousand years ago. Ignorant men trying to tell everyone how to live their lives based on books written a thousand years ago. Right. Nothing that ancient could possibly contain any wisdom. Hey, these aren't old kings and schematics that teach you how to build guns that shoot lightning. It's a load of superstitious nonsense that never helped anybody. And if you swallow it all, it can get you killed. Hmm. We may actually be in agreement there. But let's cut this short. We have a lot to do. You'll be salivating with excitement with my Slaughter folk for gold, but killing you.
Lucian's men. They're looking for me. They're between us and the Cullis Gate. We'll have to fight our way through. Just how I like you. You think Lucian's twisted powers are impressive? Try this! I will need to concentrate to start the gate. I must rely on the two of you to watch my back. Sure. We'll do all the work while you sit there and think. Let me know when it's my turn for a break, will you? Is that a shard? Amazing, isn't it? A sun that thing's a bloody nightmare. We have a small advantage. They don't want us to. <laughs> Not alone. Looks like he's brought his own army. They're coming up the stairs.
you run home <laughs> Not here. <laughs> Is it alive? Yeah, you, you had a dog with you there, like. <laughs> it ran off into the fog. <laughs> the Banshees will have it by now. <laughs> Aye, you've seen the last of that mongrel, I can tell you. Yeah, you from Bloodstone, eh? No, no, you ain't got the stink of it about you. Tis a wicked place. Would be burnt to the ground if there was any justice. So, what do I do about you? 
reckon I'll burn you as well. <laughs> You should be able to hear me now. You're alive. The Colors Gate malfunctioned, and Hammer and Garth were sent back to the Guild. You've made it to Wraithmarsh, but you're on your own for now. Well, you're not entirely on your own. But Hammer and Garth cannot reach you. Be wary. The fog here is unnatural. Somehow it dampens the Guild seal. Bloodstone is on the far side of the marshes. I suggest you head there, quickly. I'm not made of stone, but at least I ain't stone blind. Yeah. You're the sorriest excuse for a hero I ever saw, and I've seen plenty. Something in the marsh is controlling the fog, and using it against you. You need to find the source and destroy it.
Well done. But be careful. There may be more. So stay on your guard. I may lose contact with you again because of the fog. This used to be Oakvale, though it has changed radically since I saw it last, and that was a long time ago. It has seen many a cruel deed. Six hundred years ago, bandits attacked the village and burned them. The survivors rebuilt their lives, only to have them destroyed a second and final time. A new threat came from within. A reckless young villager made a deal with the forces of shadow who took the lives of every other resident as payment. All of his family, all of his friends, everyone he loved. And now, the marsh has engulfed the village, and Oakvale is nothing but a bitter memory.
You're making good progress. You're about halfway through the marshes now. You'll be in Bloodstone before you know it.
few survive Banshee attacks. You're nearly there, nearly safe.
The town centre is over the next rise. Sense the presence of a lute player. Could it really be real music at last? Oh, come on, don't just stand there. Play something, please. What beautiful music! More! More! No, no, no! If I wanted noise, I could listen to myself. Yes! Keep playing! Time for the big finish! Try to end the tune in style. Ah, oh, yes, bravo! A virtuoso performance, simply wonderful. largest house in Bloodstone. That'll be Reavers. I suggest you go and make the thief's acquaintance.
Welcome, stranger. Chewed any good bones? See anything you like? Titles for sale! Let us see what we can do for you. You're paying top gold for a top quality item. From this day forth, this citizen shall be known to all as Lionheart. From this day forth, this citizen shall be known to all as Lionheart. Hmm. Let's talk about something. That was good. <laughs> Shops closed until tomorrow. Games well, aren't man. just for losers. It's closing time for all shop. Seems to me. Hey, you should be called Pussy Heart. <laughs> How about it, love? Ah, you're back. I've transformed your latest adventures into epic ballads that are sure to delight and astonish. You should take off all your clothes and burn them. I'm Take sick of raiding other people's man. pantries. Tell me where I can buy my own grub, will ya? This is just the start of your fame. You'll see. That top might look good on Sam. Not on you, though. Always a pleasure to serve you. If you'd like my opinion, there's no Dark, better right choice here. than that. I have 12 kids to feed. Were you born evil? Or did Let's just happen? say I'm a qualified bed friend. We must continue our efforts regardless, Sister Beverly. But they seem so fruitless at times, Brother Toby. We will transform this lawless town. All it takes is a little faith. We could use some help, too. You speak the truth, Sister. Indeed you do. It is clear that we must cleanse this town of the infamous Silver Serpent. But how? They're so powerful. And they've stolen so many holy pieces from our temple. I know, I know. And yet, we have to find a way. I don't know. Sometimes I think we'll never bring peace to this terrible city. 
With courage, persistence and faith, we will do it. We will wash away all evil from this cesspool. It's a shame that Yodlin didn't succeed in changing the hearts of the people in this city, Brother Toby. We must adapt our methods if we are to save the world, Sister Beverly. Welcome, stranger. You are not a native bloodstoner, are you? And yet, you have no doubt noticed what a corrupt and sinful place it is. I am Toby of T-O-B-Y, the Temple of Benevolent Yokels. I am on a mission to turn this town into as peaceful and rustic a land as Bowerstone or Oakfield. Will you help us bring order to this lair of wickedness? T-O-B-Y blesses you, my friend. I will tell you of the grave conspiracy that has sunk Bloodstone into the anarchic pit it finds itself in today. But not before you recover the first of the holy pieces needed for the rite of cleansing. It is the mutton of eternal hope. I sense it has been concealed in a house on the waterfront above the tattoo parlour. I could smell its deliciously sacred juices as I passed it yesterday. Now go, and may benevolent yokels guide your hand. You're talking rubbish! He has a heart of pure mm. evil. See you later. I'm off. You're the one that made it out of Wraith Marsh. Nothing comes from there, but... Beer ain't the only way to give your life meaning. Where can I get paid for it? Over some gold already. Bring it on. The time is very late. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. right, taking up. Right, shout. Anyone see Ooh. my marbles? All right. A bit of success. Is something bad? Wonderful! You have retrieved the mutton of eternal hope. You are a deserving member of T.O.B.Y. It is time I told you the reason for this city's chaotic state. Forget about Reva. Bloodstone is ruled by a secret organization known as the Silver Serpent. I will tell you more soon. But first, you must recover the second of the stolen holy ritual pieces. It is the Wine of Forgiveness. I sense it is hidden in a nearby house. I see two barrels and a cart outside. Turn left when you leave and go up the street. Oh! 
Want to go back to my place? Are you ticklish? I don't open the door to strangers at this hour. Does this look like a good time? Go away! I heard there was an evil oh. presence in town. Shift Go and sit it. under a troll, now will ya? I'm really furious. You've surprised me by not being terrible. You make us all look ugly in comparison. I have a great oh. technique. One You're one see. pretty sight, all right. I'm not sure your heart has much thought in the Excellent. Soon I will be able to perform the ritual and destroy the Silver Serpent Gang, thus paving the way for our benevolent Yokel Crusade. Like the other holy pieces, the next item appears to be a mundane object, yet has remarkable power. It is the sacred pie of kindness. I sense it is being kept in a house next to the boathouse. Just let your nose guide you. Let me take you to paradise. Is this what I've been sitting here waiting for all these centuries? You! Puh. Ready for the time of your life. Life. <laughs> like what you see? Ah, yes. Thank you. A million times, thank you. We will clean up this city, after all. In fact, before we gather the final items for the ritual of cleansing, I have an important mission for you. One that will begin the purge at once. It has come to my attention that certain poor people are forced to walk the streets, selling their flesh in the most sinful way. Bring me one such lost soul that I may show her the error of her ways. Need to uh, ease some of that tension. Bandits All are going right to come here then. and burn this place to the ground.
What we need is a few more of them floating rocks. Clean up Albion good and proper. Oh, that smashing it is. If that's what you want. We can catch me at it, love. You won't regret it. Oh. Lionheart, how are you doing? Yeah, keep walking, you useless twerk. Oh, yes. Very good. Very good. This poor woman needs my full attention. Now, if you'll just leave us alone, I'll call you when you're needed again. Stalls now opening for business. So you're Toby's latest patsy, are ya? That swine always gets an outsider to do his dirty business using some scam. What was it this time? The temple thing again? <laughs> I bet he reeled you in by talking to some fake brother or sister about how to clean up this town. You ask me, you ought to get rid of that swindler. Scare him out of town or cut his head off, I don't care. Plenty of people around here will thank you for it. And you've got no guards to worry about. So very, very nice to see you. What? Go away! I'm busy! I won't ask you again. Get lost! Look, I said... Oh, it's you. Uh, I'm not quite finished here. Why don't you go and find, um, uh, let me see. What else do I want? Absolutely not to my liking. Very nice. Ah, who farted? Come on, who was it? Want to go back to my place? I'm much more limber than I look. Hey, mate, you got business with Reaver? He's through the back. Well, hello there. Always a nice surprise to have company. I don't get many visitors to my little coastal paradise. Especially ones who might well redefine a man's concept of... Paradise. <laughs> you little minx. On the rare occasions that people make it through Wraith Marsh, they're lost, confused, scared. But not you. You are looking for someone. And if you're looking for someone in Bloodstone, let's be honest, you're looking for me. But I'm afraid I hate wasting time on nobodies. That's you. Tell you what, why don't you go out and rescue some travellers, or slay some beasts, or slay some travellers? The details are unimportant. But prove to me that you're worth dealing with, and you'll have my full attention. That's it. Psst. 
Scoot, off you go. Vamos. Que veik. Allez-vous-en. <laughs> Do you think my buttons look like that? <laughs> There's nothing for it. We need his help, and he wants to play his little game. So you must play it. Or Lucian will soon get what he wants. With the Colors Gate inoperable, Wraith Marsh cuts you off from the rest of the world. If you need to leave Bloodstone, perhaps a sea captain would give you passage. So come on then, show us this half of yours. Think you can take on a... I'm a qualified bed spring tester. <laughs> <laughs> If you change your mind. Everything you could possibly need, Yay. and much, much more, right here! Yes! No. yes go on. How may I help you today? Need a title? Talk to me! Whatever you need, I'm sure to have. Well, I'm not sure. Thank you. 
Keep striking like that and the battle is ours!
on fire! Does the ale taste a bit weird um, to you today? Let the me stalls use are yourself. now opening! How do I do? So what are you doing? Hang on, 
Hot stuff! Here! I have a gift for you. Hot stuff! Here! I have a gift for you. Uh, you're a no good piece of. Yeah. You! Yeah, you! What are you looking at? Your bets and win a fortune. Your clothes with our dime. I can't believe how expensive everything is. How may I help you today? Cheers. Hello there, Lionheart. You have a wide range. You won't be disappointed. Hope you enjoy it. That's a good buy. Very nice indeed. Is maybe ah! 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 <laughs> Is this what I've been sitting here waiting for all these centuries? You! Puh! Thank you. 
Like my new hair colour. I guess it's not that different to my old colour. You know what I like. What a time of your life. Seems to me. Oh wait, you, Jack, be you ain't pussy never heart. played a game like this. <laughs> I'm thinking of hiring me one sure of those things. Impressive. What a handsome fella you are. Whatever you need, I'm sure. I have a great technique. Want to see it? Ah, you're back! I've transformed your latest adventures into epic ballads that are sure to delight us. Guess the prices were a bit of a shock. <laughs> I can give you a ride you'll never forget. Wanna have fun? There's plenty of ugly animals, but you're not one. Well, if it ain't Lionheart. You ever felt professional, Brilliant. love? Beats amateur love, hands down. I'm pretty sure that's a dead body. Amazing is what that was. I haven't seen such a black art since my dad died. Woohoo! Another dead body, eh? I never get tired of that. That top might look good on some. Hours. Not on you, though. That's put me in a better mood. That Reaver can have me whenever he wants. And he often does. How about That's what I like it, to see. Over there looks like fun. All righty, then. Let's get moving. Pretty great. You looking for a good time? I'll make you wail like a banshee, baby. Oh yeah, that's something good. I love well, that. My mood's lifting thanks to you. Love it. Yeah, not bad. Good job. Wanna dip in the best oh, pot of honey not bad. in town? I enjoyed that. Marvelous. Not it's always bad. good to not watch. Not bad at all. Hang on, let me think for a second. Oh. Know where I could get work? Pass the time with my amazing pastimes. If you can't find it, I'm gift even here, nicer without all these clothes on. Wow. Sure thing. Let's get going. Nah. I'll wager you ain't never played a game like this. Please, haven't eaten for a week. Ooh, exciting. Oh, all right then. I'm here to lead on. Got potential. You're wasting my time. I'll follow your lead. Good stuff. How may I help? With you? Heck, why not? Love it. Fine. Love it. Good. Getting to be a bit of a celebrity, eh? Shouldn't the Lionheart be a bit more brave? Ooh, that's nice. I 
I'm not some dog to be chasing after you. I'll do that again. again. How about it, love? You're not at all ugly. I say, that looks like a jolly good sacrifice you had there, old bee. Just lead the offering into the sacrificial circle. By the way, how did you get the blighters to follow you here? Always have a heck of a time myself. A look, aren't ya? You can tell there's magic running through your veins. Working next to the wheel used to put me off food, but not anymore. Still can't touch black puddings, though. Apocalyptic! It was like witnessing the very end of the world. You'll be the Shadow's new favorite after that, I shouldn't wonder. Games, games, but not the kind children play. You're probably wondering what that smell is, right? There's something wrong with the water. It's usually so fresh and pure, but it's gone completely rancid. What could pollute the water like that? It's not natural. Say, you wouldn't take a look at it for me, would you? 
I was so looking forward to retirement, but who'd want to buy a stinking inn? You should be ashamed. Get back up! You just won yourself a slow and painful death. Fight back, will ya?
Guaranteed fun. Good thing we have places like this. You did it! The smell's gone and business is back. I can finally sell this place. Tell you what, I'll give you a friendly discount if you're interested. Cheer up. We're in the pub. Oh, must be nice to be so wealthy. That's a good start, but you will need to become a good deal more famous. You're not selfish, but you are. Oh, good. Maybe uh, even great. I know where I'd rather be than right Lionheart. here. Sitting with me buddies doing? or on my own, who cares? Ain't this place great? It's the greatest it's game in Albion. Right in front of me. It's pretty good anyway. Oh, that or his beard I didn't... Can we play a game of curmudgeons and flagons? Not interested. I think I'll get ever so. Choose your moniker. I saw an army of beetles coming out of the walls last night. So they Have were you done what it takes to play the greatest game game ever conceived? You there? Just the kind of fellow I was hoping to run into. It's adventurers like you who keep filling my son's head with fancy ideas. It's about time you helped us poor mothers out. My boys have always wanted to explore some horrid place called Wraithmarsh, and they finally found a way of getting there. Do an old lady a favor and bring the silly sods back, would you? They're just like their father, always looking for some harebrained thrills. Good. I just haven't got the energy to pull them out of their ridiculous scrapes anymore. And I certainly have no wish to see this Wraith Marsh place. Take a chance on a game of, um, chance!
I tried to talk. I can't believe how idiotic that is. Appreciate your help. You're a bad person.
Hey, low there. Somebody wants you dead! We're here to make it happen. Bye. Oh, that's 
That's gonna hurt! did he get to? Dorit! Home fire! Home fire!
Are they all gone? Thank you. Hey, don't we know you? You looked awfully familiar killing hollow men. The important thing is that it's all over. Well, not quite. Go on, tell him. No, you tell him. Um, the thing is, we found this cave. But we kind of accidentally released a pretty nasty banshee. It's probably tearing up bloodstone by now, slaughtering everything in its path. You have to kill it, please, if Mother finds out. Yeah, that reminds me. We should really get back to Bowerstone. Yeah, um, once it's safe.
trying to slaughter us. Than a pixie dog. You little terrors! You better not have caused any trouble! Oh, Mum! You're just like your father, always chasing some ridiculous adventure. Have you already forgotten how he died? How that kraken grabbed him by his little legs, twirled him in the air like a baton, and swallowed him whole? Honestly, I have half a mind to. Oh, I don't know yet, but you won't like it! A lifetime of worry I've had because of you two. They won't tell me what happened. Did they cause any trouble? My palpitating heart. Hmm, there's something you're not telling me. But my boys are safe, and I didn't have to chase after them through a swamp. That's the main thing. You are now famous enough to use the kiss my ass expression. You and your deeds are the talk of Bloodstone. If nothing else, you will have piqued Reaver's curiosity. I saw him, it be true. With me own two peepers, I tell ye. Yeah. Oh, they think old Jack's mad, but he's not. Lionel, how you doing? Ah, you there. I have a tale for thee, ye'll scarcely credit, of legends and vast treasures and... Ah, uh, my throat is... Ah, far too dry to go on. <sighs> Who will those slavers take next? Yeah! Oh, have you tasted these right mothers? Here. Don't you get on my nerves. You'll love it. Mmm, lovely. It's not fair. It's not fair, I tell you. Old Jack knows the secret. I tell you, <laughs> a man could die of thirst in this bar. Trousers off, they're foul. Ah, <laughs> thank ye. It does me a world of good that. Now, listen to old Jack's story and be amazed. Aye, the 
there I was, laid down unconscious on the beach, an empty bottle of fire juice in my arms like some high-bosomed maiden, when I beheld his figure by a nearby cave. Captain Dread! So cold-hearted in life was he, I tell ye, he would strike his surname into your soul with nary a look. Why, I ran, swam, and paddled as fast as I could for a restorative brew, but no man here will believe me. <laughs> you prove me right, won't ye? You? you prove old Jack ain't telling no tales. <laughs> Ah, I knew I could count on ye. You'll find the cave on the coast. But take care. Yes, take care of dreaded Captain Dread. <laughs> Try open the shop here in town. Ooh. Then he tried Don't to sell me the last one. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. the happiest I've ever seen. Oh, oh, ah, you're back! I've transformed your latest adventures into epic ballads that are sure to delight at us. I might be made of stone. But at least I ain't stone blind. Cursed be all ye who enter the domain of Captain Dread. The living ain't welcome in my crew. <laughs> Dread's treasure will bring ye a watery death. This cave shall be your grave.
No! The Marianne is mine! You'll not take her from me!
You found the old dead sea dog. Aye, I knew you would, my lad. Finished him off for good, and stole his ship too. <laughs> the Marianne. Never thought I'd see her, and count myself living. Aye, you'll be a legend among pirates for this, you will. And you proved Salty Jack ain't gone soft in the head yet. I can go back to my port without fear of ridicule, I thank ye. Lovely. Ooh, soft too. Oh, you're the anchor. You're a bad dog. Bad. Enchanted island. Who oh, the troll would be responsible for that stink in the roof region? No. Out of my sight. Gift. Oh, thank you, dear. Thank you. He ran off saying he was going to explore some caves. Being adventurous again, of course, the silly boy. You know how children are. They always think they're old enough to make it on their own. He might get scared when he sees you. So here, take this note so he knows you're a nice grown-up he can trust. So wonderful. Let me give you a present. 
I'm not sure your heart has much What's your own Bams. You're what they call brawny, if you don't mind me saying. Those are a waste of bones and blood if ever I saw one. Explorer, what spiffing good luck. Maybe you can help me. I say, what's that you have there? That handwriting, surely it can't be... Give me here! <coughs> Grandmother, I should have known. My name is Charles. Charles! And I'm a belly brave adventurer myself. Oh, she does make my blood boil. How would you like some old woman telling you what to do all the time? Still, you don't seem like such a bad egg. Uh, perchance you could lend us a hand opening this bother of a chest. Every time I get close, a band of those undead blighters shows up, ready to tear me limb from bally limb. Be a good chum, and keep the beastly coves off me, will you? Soon as I start on the chest, the rotting rotters will start their dismembering japes. Just keep them off me while I work my magic on the lock. Isn't this exciting?
don't want to impose, but I do fancy I could use some assistance over here. Gosh, I didn't see that coming, I must say. My, this is a bit of a tight spot, isn't it? Let's show them what fucking courage.
Jingo, we made it! Charlie, you naughty little imp, scaring your dear old grandma like that. How many times do I have to tell you, don't go where Granny can't see you? Oh, Gran! Don't, oh, Gran me. I don't think you deserve your birthday present this year. In fact, I think your rescuer should have it. It's the only way children learn. Thank you for bringing Charlie back, brave, gallant adventurer. I'm an adventurer, Gran, and my name is Charles. Charles! It isn't polite to shout, dear. Now let's go home and have a nice cup of tea. I'm not in. Well, I'm in, but I'm busy doing absolutely nothing abnormal. Still there? Go away. Unless... Yeah. How would you like to assist in this century's most important scientific experiment? Very, very important stuff. All you have to do is collect a few precious bits of corpse. What I meant to say is some totally above board and non creepy gathering of various anatomical specimens. Hey, you're not here to dump anything in the old part of the graveyard, are you? People think it's some sort of tip. Oh, good. Good. Your first, um, scientific expedition is to Rookridge. There should be a fine body part hidden away in a cave there. Good luck. Aren't you leaving? Think of science. The science is
hear your shootings as bad as your body odor. Come on in. The door's open. Oh. It's her. It's really, really her. I might as well tell you the truth now. I'm not just advancing the cause of science, you see. I'm... I'm advancing the cause of love. This? This is Lady Grey. Well, a bit of her anyway. She lived a long time ago. An awful, barbaric time. And she was the mayor of Bowerstone. Some people. Well, they didn't like her very much. Couldn't see what a wonderful person she really was. They called her a witch. And, well, they chopped off her head. Then they buried her body in three different places. But let's not waste time on such awful tales. The second part of her is hidden in a tomb between Bloodstone and Wraith Marsh. Please find it.
They made of stone, but at least I ain't stone blind. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
Is this what I've been sitting here waiting for? <laughs> I'm in here. Come on in. Oh, wonderful. Yes. My poor Lady Grey. What did they do to you? At least your parts ended up in cool, dry places. Oh, right, yes. Thank you so much. You're probably the closest thing I've ever had to a friend. Pathetic, isn't it? There's... There's only one more part of her left to find. And it's in a vault somewhere in Fairfax Gardens. I'm sure you'll find the right tomb. I'd come with you, but, well... I try not to go out too much. I might run into people.
You're a good little dog, aren't you? I heard there was a prophecy about you. Yeah. Something about the worst marksman of all time! Yeah, that was it! <laughs> Are you just too lazy to buy some proper clothes? <laughs> that look... looks like an incredible weapon for someone like you. You're just so wonderful. Beg for mercy, please. Ah! <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, you're new around here, aren't you? No, please. See your aim, if you've got one. Very good! Oh, feet are killing me. I should quit. I get a job I can sit here. Wouldn't it be better if you left? It's you! <laughs> Please, take this little gift. <laughs> the hero travelled along a wide but deserted road. Leading to the city. Oh, such a celebrity here. I'll make sure to keep things safe for you.
Bravo! Please, I can't possibly die just yet. Have mercy, please. Is this what I've been sitting here waiting for all these centuries? You! To I skip it to be until you did that. What smart beard? <laughs> Was everything Amazing. you did before just a lie then? I was in a great mood till you did that. Is it? Must be some mistake. A lion heart, well met.
have reinstated my faith in celebrities. I know what I saw, but it wasn't real. No. I'm down in the basement. Everything's ready. Oh, at last. I never thought this day would come, my sweet lady. You must think I'm some sort of pervert, a real creep. But, well, I've been in love with Lady Grey for so many years. Ever since I found a picture of her. She's been the one woman I could talk to. The one woman who wouldn't turn away from me in disgust. And now you're wondering how such an amazing creature could ever love someone like me. You see, this procedure, it's not just about reanimating dead tissue. It's also a love spell. Oh, we'll be so happy. I'll take care of her forever, just like she deserves. Stand back. It's time! She's alive. Oh, my sweet lady. How do you feel? You... you brought me back. You are magnificent. Well, you know, actually, it was... it was me who... I have been asleep so long, but now I am ready to live again and to love for the first time. You are so perfect. Oh no! The love spell makes her fall in love with the first person she... You've got to go. Now! I thought my heart had died long before I did. But it beats now for you. Come on, you have to leave. Please! She and I are meant for each other. I know it! There's something about your eyes. They're so beautiful, so captivating. You can get any number of women to fall in love with you, but me, this is my one chance of happiness. Please go! Let's buy a house together. Let's get married. Oh, time's running out. If you don't leave now, I'll lose her forever. Please don't do this to me. I love her so much. You are the only one I could ever love. We shall be so happy. No! What have you done? She was meant for me! For me! Ah! My life is over! Ha ha ha!
I beseech you, don't harm me, mighty one. You're a fine one. to serve you.
from Lord Lucian. If you must, then I will kill you.
crack pot than a crack shot. <laughs> I've got a quest for you. Catch my stony ass! Thank you. 
cannot possibly marry you using this foul little trinket. Is this all our love means to you? I cannot possibly marry you using this foul little trinket. Is this all our love means to you? Prices may be high, but the quality is second to none. Do you like playing fetch? <laughs> I'll ask you to try shooting me, but you probably put your eye out instead. If things get any worse, I'll have to close down. And this will be oh, such a splendiferous marvel. When I was your age, girls didn't run around like boys. Tell me this. Is it true you don't know which way to hold a crossbow? <laughs> I'll be broken a day if I stay here. Gonna do, huh? Shoot me! Oh, 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 I'm shivering! Mummy, help! Oh. You can't hit me! You can't hit me! <laughs> Visit me, even though you're so famous. Woo! You are beyond compare. Just like we have You've come to the right place. You won't regret buying that. Run, run! Always a pleasure to help you. It's a bargain today. It's worth every ounce. It's expensive. Hope you enjoy it. That's a good buy.
Such a celebrated season. I'm honored to be. Have you dodged the coffin all this time, you weak elbowed hog dropping? Before it is too late.
This. Is it true you don't know which way to hold a crossbow? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Let's see your aim, if you've got one.
You're back! My men are positively buzzing with interest. Who is this person, they ask? Have heroes come back to Albion and blah 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 and so on and so forth and I really don't care. You see, while you were out making your name a, ho a hovel hold word, I discovered that you recently waltzed right out of Lucian's spire. So, unless I miss my guess, and incidentally, I never miss, you want me to help you waltz back in there and take him down. <laughs> Tempting. Who knows what lovelies he has secreted away in there. But here's the problem. You've done all sorts of impressive things, and yet you haven't really done anything that benefits me. Wait, perhaps there is something you can do for me. There's a certain item I need returned to its rightful owners in Wraithmarsh. They live in an enchanting place called the Shadow Court. I do it myself, but my relationship with the owners is complicated. And while my associates here have their uses, most aren't terribly reliable. So, how about this? You run this little errand for me, and then I'll assist you in your quest for vengeance or, or riches or whatever it is that floats your particular boat. The item I need returned is just there. See? See? See that little objet d'art? There's a good lad. Just come back and see me when you've dropped it off at the Shadow Court. Tatty bye. Are you really suggesting my cheekbones are anywhere near that low? The Shadow Court. It was they who destroyed Oakvale. There is a deep well in the center of Wraith Marsh, made of tombs. That is where they reside. Be careful. There is more to this task than Reva lets on.
One of you carries the Dark Seal. But there are two. Only one is required. One will trade their youth and beauty so that the King of Thieves may retain his. This is the bargain we honor. The rules cannot be broken. We will take whoever bears the Dark Seal. You must choose. Quickly. Please, I just want to see my parents again. What? No. You, you can't do this. Please, don't. Please! Sacrifices stop. We will come for him. This he knows. That was a difficult decision, but you are alive and strong, and that is what matters most. Go back to Riva. Imagine your return to Riva will be eventful. Once we have Riva, your path leads straight to Lucian. There will be no going back. If you have left anything unfinished, now is your last opportunity to resolve it. We're done. And you're sure that it'll look like me? Exactly like you, sir. In three months, the picture will be developerized and... Three months? <laughs> That's no good.
and looking as youthful and spirited as ever. Aren't you a tricky one? Good for you. <laughs> you have my eternal thanks for delivering that troublesome seal. Now, I have a confession to make. While you were away, it occurred to me that Lucian is probably a bit miffed that you wandered off without his permission. Maybe miffed enough to part with a large heap of gold to get you back. And you know what? I was right. So, as fun as all this has been, I'm afraid I must now return you to the spire. Lucian's men will be here at any moment. <laughs> all right, what exactly was that? Reaver! The city's under attack! By a bloody army! Lucian's men! Dozens of the buggers! And the guy in charge is yelling at his men, Find this reaver! Me? Lucian and I had a gentleman's agreement. How dare he betray me! And just when I was in the middle of trying to betray you! How inconvenient. I recommend we flee down this rather handy escape tunnel. Smugglers built these tunnels ages ago. I don't think they've been used for about 300 years. Oh, no, wait a minute. Now, I came through here in... That's right, I was consorting with Ursula at the time, and Penelope found out and she set the house on fire while I was sleeping. With Andrew, as I recall. That would have been 200 years ago. Lucian is using great shards to transport hundreds of men to Bloodstone. The town is overrun. You have to keep going and find another way out. It almost seems a shame to waste my virgin kiss lead on this creature. Romp through the tunnel. He must have known about these tunnels, I thought. How Lucian gets his hands on either of you. It's the end of everything. Go.
admiring my weapon? Beauty, beauty. Dragon Stomper 48. Only six were ever made, you know, for six lucky people. I'm not all that lucky. I've killed four of them so far. <laughs> She was right. They're here. Good to see you again. Hope we didn't miss too much. Sounded like a massacre. Are all the soldiers gone? Far away, I hope. I don't know how much more killing I can stand. Balverines and bandits behind every rock and tree. And every one I kill, two more take its place. <laughs> all quite fascinating. I'm, I'm touched. I'm also leaving. Oh, yes. Three, two, one. And any other lurking nasties in the tunnel will now have a bit of a headache. Which means I've just saved us all. Aren't I nice? In a few moments, I'll be sailing away to safety on my escape ship. So, the way I see it, we're even. Toodaloo! Oh, it's a 
respond to the will. I just have to find the right spell. There must be a way. Nothing seems to work. Unless... Sustained attacks! It's the only way to bring it down! This would be much more sporty. It would make the show us its dirty little secret again. We did it! Now that's teamwork. Yes, such fun! And with that, I'm off. bye -Z. You can't leave now! We need you! Welcome, Reva. Uh, delighted to be here, uh, whoever you are. But, as I was saying before the enormous pointy flying boulder interrupted, I really must go. Listen to me. If you do not help us, Lucian will control the world and every person in it. Well, he's welcome to them. People are a bit overrated, don't you find? Then who will you sacrifice to the King of Shadows? 
very well. All right, yes, I will help you. And after that, there's a good chance I will kill you. But, uh, uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, hmm? So, what now? We must gather at the Circle of Heroes. The ritual we will perform there shall provide us with the weapon we need to defeat Lucian. Oh, this sounds like a barrel of laughs. Blind, eh? I would have preferred mute. What exactly does Lucian want? Aside from godlike power? Hmm, that's a tough one. No, 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 that kind of power is a means, not an end. What does he want to do? When I knew him, he wanted to resurrect his family. Probably still does. But, give a beggar a million gold, he'll buy food. Until he's full. And then he realizes bread isn't the only thing for sale. Now we can begin. Stand in the center. You represent that which binds the three together. Strength, skill, and will. Together you will call forth the great weapon that will defeat Lucian. So now we just... Uh, do what exactly? I did enjoy making that pretty light with you, but with that done, what happens now? I don't know. We crossed beyond the far edge of my knowledge when he stepped into the center. Wait, where's Teresa? Well, this can't be good. Here. Enough power to build a new world, and you waste it trying to save the old one. You're... You're Lucian. Open your eyes, Lucian. The ruins of the old kingdom are all around us. And soon they will be buried under the new kingdom. And you're looking at the new king. Pretender. Your fall will be hard, indeed. Um, deal still stands, Lord Lucian. That King Lucian. <laughs> oh, Reva, will you shut it? In fact, you can have these people for free. And so I shall. And you as well. Where is she? Your fortune-telling friend. What have you done to her? I merely listened. I should have gone out into the dark and found your body that night. But I was hasty. I let the bloodline flourish. And you have flourished. But this time is different. The last of the heroic blood will flow out onto this hilltop. Misguided and weak. The last time I killed you, it tore my heart out. Of course, you were only a child. But then, so was I. Death is not your destiny today, little sparrow. Come 
on, little sparrow. Wake up. Mum and Dad have gone out. You've missed saying goodbye. Come on, get up. It's beautiful outside. Come on. They won't be back for ages. We're going to have such a fun day. I've got so many things planned. I've hidden bottles around the farm for you to shoot. The chickens need rounding up. Or we could kill some beetles. All sorts of things. So, what should we do first? I'll do whatever you feel like doing. What do you fancy? Let's get the beetles in the old crop fields. Yay! You found one! See if you can find the rest. Nice one! Brilliant! Those chickens wander all over the place, peck, peck, pecking away. Reckon you can get them all back in their pen? Right, you silly chicken. Now stay. Last one. Bet she'll be a real pain. Nice one. Chaser. What do you want to do now? Let's get the beetles in the old crop fields. Brilliant!
brilliant. Great shot. Nice one. Shot. Nice one. bugs in this field. Fancy killing some? Nice one! Ugh, that one went crunch! I can't see anymore. Shall we do something else? I've set up some bottles around the place so you can have some shooting practice. Five more to go. Four left. Three more. That was a fantastic day, but I'm worn out. Let's go to bed.
It's nothing, little sparrow. Go back to sleep. alone anymore. Fairfax looks so nice in the snow. If only we could live there. <laughs> Perhaps that could be the wrench. For centuries, this academy trained the most supremely gifted sons and daughters of Albion, bound together by the blood that flowed in their veins. Can you feel the power coursing through you? Father! I could have stopped him! That was something else. Best crucible in years! A classic performance that will be remembered for all time. Or at least as long as there are people around to remember it. <laughs> you will make an excellent soldier. Dismissed. The rules cannot be broken. We will take whoever bears the dark seal. And looking as youthful and spirited as ever. Aren't you a tricky one? Good for you. <laughs> the last time I killed you, it tore my heart out. Of course, you were only a child. But then, so was I. You have passed the test. Your rewards are the opportunity to confront your enemy and the means to destroy him. Take the box and go to him. Is astounding. Twice you've cheated death. Yet your abilities are trivial compared to the infinite power of the spire, which will soon be mine. Now, sleep. sleep. What? What?
What is that? What are you doing? Do you think a mere trinket will save you? Do you think anything can? Stop. Think about what you're doing. I will put an end to chaos. Stop now, you fool! You insect! I order you to stop! Sleep! I command you to sleep! Sleep! Consider that a victory. You're merely delaying the inevitable. All that you've struggled for will be crushed under the majesty of the Spire. Why? Why must you interfere? What are you fighting to protect? A world that robs us of what we love most? Is that what you think is worth preserving? You small-minded fool. Do you think you're the only one ever to suffer loss? I asked the world for nothing but a family, and even that trivial request was too excessive. Such a cold world does not deserve its own existence. The new kingdom will have no place for fate or chaos or hip. <laughs> Oh, I thought he'd never shut up. Oh, I'm sorry, did you want to kill him? Lucian's dead. So, what happens now? Now? It is time you gained your reward. Your gift for saving the world from a madman's selfish dream. The Spire has awakened, and it still has the power to grant one wish. Yours. Come. Take my hand. It's all right, little sparrow. Don't be afraid. You stand in the heart of the spire, as the Archon of the Old Kingdom did thousands of years ago. Now it is your turn. Make a wish, but choose wisely, for it will affect all of Albion. Sacrifice. You may choose to revive all those who died in the Spire's making. It is a selfless gift. Your only reward will be the gratitude of Albion. Love. Those dearest to you, even your faithful dog, will be restored to life. But their lives come at the cost of the countless innocents who died in building the Spire. Or wealth. More gold than you can imagine to spend on whatever pleases you. But any you loved, and all the Spire's prisoners will remain dead, and will not witness your newfound affluence. What will you choose? So be it. When you return, your fairy companion will be waiting for you. And any who might declare you selfish or callous, any who themselves lost family to this place, will know that given such a choice, they might well have done the same. We heard everything. Yes, a wish was made, and the world will bear its consequences. I'd do almost anything to bring back someone I loved. Oh, I think I might be ill. But you could have brought back thousands. All the victims of this horrible place. They had families too. It was his decision. Let him live with it. If you care so little about life, why not just take the money? 
Yes, 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 yes. But on to more important matters. What about me? What do I get? Cash would be nice. That is up to you. I can send you anywhere from here. What do you wish? I wish to return home. To Samarkand. Oh, I've never been to Samarkand. Hot nights, exotic substances, and uninhibited people. It's nothing like that. Trust me, I'll find the exciting bids. Fine, but stay out of my way. Hammer? No, I'm done. I know why we got attacked in the cave the day we met. You brought those hollow men in with you. Two monks would have found nothing, but a warrior finds battle always. I want to go north, study with those warrior monks. I was so sick of avoiding violence. Now I'm sick of causing it. Goodbye, hero. I simply can't thank you enough for dragging me into this mess. Oh, I should tell you, I do have to make the occasional sojourn back to Albion. I have an obligation to some friends in Wraithmarsh. I had my doubts about you at first, but I'm glad we met. And we shall meet again. You can count on it. Guess I'll leave Albion to you. Not like I can do anything about it. You did some amazing things. Shame about all the rotten stuff. I guess this will be our last goodbye. Take care of yourself. Farewell, Hammer. And now it is time for you to leave. The world is yours to enjoy, but the spire is mine. Be gone.